This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva Luxury Mattress, the only online mattress company that provides free delivery, setup, and mattress removal. Well, welcome. Welcome to Your Mom's House with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to Your Mom's House. Support for your mom's house comes from Manscaped, who is the best in men's below-the-belt grooming. Manscaped offers precision-engineered tools for your family jewels. Guys, untrimmed pubes are a thing of the past. Are you trying to get your stuff sucked? Oh my you got to keep it nice and trim down there. Um, I've talked to a lot of people about it, and they say that while they enjoy performing fellatio, they hate gagging on wads of hair. Oh, yeah. So, if you want to get your nuts licked before the new year, or maybe even in the new year, I would recommend getting Manscaped to trim up your beanbag. Keeps everything nice and smooth, and it doesn't have you (coughs) pulling hair out of your teeth. Okay. It's time to gear up and get yourself the gift of shaving this holiday season. Of course, I'm talking about the Manscaped Perfect Package 2.0. Um, I remember in the past using uh, scissors, tweezers, um, nail files, knives, all kinds of things to try to trim my balls and dong and just finding immense amounts of blood in oh my, my underwear God, and on my sheets. Okay. And now I have the Manscaped Perfect Package 2.0. You can jab that thing right into your bag and it doesn't, it doesn't harm yourself. You know, you just have a nice smooth trim the lawnmower 2.0 comes inside the perfect package 2.0 which makes for the perfect gift this holiday season it's everything you need to keep trimmed cut free and smelling nice down there the manscape perfect package 2.0 also includes the crop preserver an anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer you already put deodorant on your armpits why are you not putting deodorant on the smelliest part of your body Your balls, which I think is the second smelliest part of your body after your asshole. (laughs) The Manscaped Perfect Package also includes what? The Crop Reviver, the product along with the Crop Preserver keeps your balls from sweating, smelling, and sticking. All these products smell good. Their manly scent is attractive and will help set the mood. The Perfect Package will also come with a pair of Manscaped Boxer Briefs that will keep your junk feeling fresh all day. It's time to upgrade those overused pair of boxers to Manscaped's high-performance anti-chafing boxer briefs. Tis the season to Manscaped. Get yourself, your dad, your brother, your friends, your lovers, the Manscaped Perfect Package 2.0. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code MOM at manscaped.com. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code MOM at manscaped.com that's 20 percent off with free shipping at manscaped.com use our code mom clean up your nuts and make santa proud this year gene this episode is also brought to us by omaze i'm very excited to announce that omaze is offering you the chance to win a restored 1968 Bullet Ford Mustang GT Fastback. Taxes and shipping are included. And even better, every donation benefits a great cause. All you have to do is go to omaze.com slash mom. That's O-M-A-Z-E dot com slash mom. Enter for your chance to win. Omaze works with awesome content creators to raise money for nonprofits. Here's how it works. We offer incredible experiences and prizes cars, vacations, hangouts with celebrities that people can win if they donate. For each campaign, one winner is randomly selected to score the dream prize and the money that's raised goes to charity. One winner will win a restored 1968 Bullet Ford Mustang GT Fastback. Wow, what an incredible car to win. Uh, You can win this 1968 Ford Mustang GT uh, Fastback restored by Richard Rawlings Gas Monkey Garage. Taxes and shipping included own a replica of the iconic car Steve McQueen drove in the movie Bullet, known for one of the greatest car chases of all time. Retain the feel of the 68 car with its original 390 big block engine, four-speed manual transmission, 
five spoke torque truss wheels and factory interior enjoy almost double the horsepower 600 thanks to modern upgrades including dual holly carburetors 428 aluminum heads and a custom exhaust again for your chance to win a restored 1968 amazing bullet ford mustang gt fastback go to omaze.com slash mom enter now the best part is every donation supports the gas monkey foundation hurry up and go to omaze.com slash mom go there donate and good luck and we're back baba ganoush baba ganoush this goes out to all you baba ganoush this <laughs> public announcement um suwu call me motherfucker false blood it's want no wreck it's verified mm. he responded so thankfully that is settled um speaking of that and suwu Unrelated to that man's video, I put out a shirt with a woman on it named <laughs> Suwu, and it sold like <laughs> crazy. Hmm. Thanks, everybody. A few weeks ago, we had that big uh, Thanksgiving weekend sale, Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So thanks for everybody who ordered that. Uh, you got the Tata there TikTok. Um, <laughs> You got a bunch of uh, cool, oh, mom sold out the cool mom sold out several times. Ahem, I'm wearing it today to show it off. Nice, looks really cool. I'm not a regular mom. I'm a cool mom, um, and varsity mom is also in stores. It is a, it's a hoodie for yes. the winter times. I like to wear it at drop off uh, the, for the kids. Well, everybody um, know that uh, we really appreciate you supporting us and the show by getting all the different merch. Uh, there's the two bear stuff. I also put on the store some of the few things from the taping in Austin. So if you wanted to get, there's a, there's a, probably a few left of the Austin tees, and then there's also Austin posters. Um, that was, that's the night that we taped the special. Some of the posters from the run, uh, most have been designed by Paul Granice, amazing designer. He did that one as well. Uh, they're all autographed. Some of them have sold out. Um, they're they'll be removed from the store soon. So every anytime face. there's like some overstock, we ship it back to the store. We Tom, put it online. Do so that that's, face. That's the deal with the posters. Mm. So, anyways, I just wanted to say thanks to you guys for um, supporting us. See your really eyes. Do you have a, a walleye one off? Yeah, you got the Marty Feldman eye. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What, is that called being walleyed? When one go one guy one eye goes this way, one eye goes that way. When I goes this way, when I goes that way. Yeah. <laughs> so the dog says, what do you want from me? This guy's saying, what do you want from me? I just watched Goodfellas again. It's so good. It's so funny that yeah. that, that is one of those movies that viewing 100, you're like, yep, I'm in. Like, it's still good. I don't good. know how it has that effect on my brain. Yeah. Well, is Joe Pesci just, reminds me of you. Of me. In that character. He's Get a, your shine box. <laughs> He's a violent psychopath. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like watching you. It's like a mirror image. Was, how about the part when he stabs the guy in the trunk? <laughs> this That's is a good? funny part. I, but I like it. Why do I like it when Joe Pesci kills people? He's hilarious. He's really good at it. Yeah. yeah. He's so funny angry. He's yeah. so funny. I remember um, he made this <laughs> horrible movie uh, called Nine Heads in a Duffel Bag. Remember that? I think David Spade's in it. It came out in the 90s and it's so bad but he's so funny and this is like the height of his fame and you could tell they were like just write a scene where he's angry everyone will love it and you do like the whole movie you're like this and every time he's like what the fuck you fuck? you start laughing that was he's a good so impression funny. yeah he's so funny when he's angry he's even good at home alone he's great in home alone we've been watching that with the kid and uh, with the older kid and, yeah and the younger one but uh yeah, he falls down, he hurts himself. Oh, he's great. He's a great he's actor. He's really funny. He's a really great actor. So he's in um, The Irishman, you know? Is that, are you are you finished with it? I know it's a three hour epic. Oh, it's a six day kind of affair. <laughs> Jesus. But I have 15 minutes left. But he, um, yeah, I haven't seen Joe Pesci in a long time. How are the and eyes? And obviously, you know, Scorsese has a special relationship with him. Yeah, no, he's I mean, got He like, looks crazier than cat shit with that work done. Actually, now he's grown past the work. Oh. He just looks like a normal old guy. Well, you bring up Joe Pesci. I want to see what he looks like now because in I, the movie he just looks like a regular old guy. Really? So mm -hmm. he aged into it, it I think relaxed. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's too bad because he really screwed his face up. Oh yeah, he looks good. Yeah. Now he looks just old, which is yeah. fine. Yeah. Which is how you should look. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. He's amazing. That guy. Jeez. He's so good. 
So that, look, click that one right there. See, that's him in the movie on the right. Mm. <laughs> Looks good. He's 75. Oh, my life. Right? Is that, that's what it says there. From oh 25 to 75. Ugh. Yeah, he, um, uh, he really is such a solid actor. Mm-hmm. He's, uh, he's great in it. Uh, De Niro's great in it. They, they had the whole crew just kill it. Sebastian's great in it. I have to see it. Sebastian Sebastian's has a small it. part that he nails. Aww. He's really good in it. I he's love really him. good. Um, good yeah. shine box, Tommy. Pacino. Yeah, I know. That's, um, yeah, the Irishman. Let's see. Oh, he looks like a total Guido. Uh, Money Scalco. Yeah, he's there great. He is. He's really great in it. Looking good, Sebastian. Mm -hmm. Homie. Nailed it. Uh, good. Let's see. Who else? Oh, Harvey Keitel's in it. It's got fucking everybody in it, man. And this is made for Netflix? Well, they let them have a small theatrical release. So it was in, it was in theaters for a couple weeks. I don't know if it's still in a few but it's it's streaming now on netflix so pretty cool bros yeah three and a half hours jesus christ man editing bro you gotta edit like yeah. i want to watch the godfather movies as well yeah but i don't have two or three days to yeah. waste that's what you gotta have because i like it but i don't want to go it's so slow i know but I, what is but with, what is with being able to watch though something that, like the um coming to america always comes to mind too i watch it every it's time. like the element of surprise is gone. I know. And I still want to just watch scene after scene. But that's Eddie Murphy. I think I think it's the magic of Eddie Murphy as a performer. Yeah. He is I can watch Eddie Murphy. I saw him with the Jerry Seinfeld, the comedians and cars getting yeah. coffee. I'm locked on him. Yeah. There's something so talk it's about true star charisma. Yeah. The guy is so engaging and he's so naturally funny the way he delivers lines. Remember Beverly Hills Cop, you know, forget the banana, you're not going to fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Like the, yeah. he, is, he just has a way of making lines memorable too. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Jesus Christ, I was Christ, thinking also of uh, Scrooge when that would come yeah, on I or Groundhog that Day. That's a good one. But see, that's another yep. like di like amazing performer. Right? Yeah, Bill strong, Murray. strong performer. Very strong performer. I can't, when every time a vacation comes on, vacation or sure. Christmas vacation, I'll watch that. Yeah. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, I'll watch that. Unreal. That's a good one too, yeah. Matthew well, Broderick. Let's get started with the show. I mean, yep. we're sitting here, we're just talking our pussies off. Mm. Let's uh, let's start the show. Quit flapping your labia. Yep. Let's get into it. There's nothing harder to be in a female. Our pussies itch twenty four seven. They stink. They have these huge warts that grow on them. This is a big gun. Who is Randy? Wow. Don't bring anyone That's up what I'm talking head. about. <laughs> your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. I love a good misdirect. Mm. And so I love that she starts like, it's hard being a woman. And you're like, yeah, it is. <laughs> and I'm like, I wonder what she'll talk about. <laughs> like, uh, you know, like right. every guy goes, yeah, I get it. It's hard being a woman. She's like, our fucking pussies itch. Like, huh? 24 <laughs> seven. You're like, your pussy's never not itching? Hmm. Well, that's a problem. It shouldn't be itching. Well, yeah, they have huge warts that grow on. I mean, that's obviously. another problem. That's problem number three. She's got a <laughs> lot of problems with her. It's stinky. <laughs> There's nothing harder to be in a female. Our pussies itch 24 7. Mm. They stink. They have these huge warts that grow on them. Nope. Daily 24 7. We're scratching. We're itching. And our pussies fucking stink. Like they smell like fish. <sighs> Honestly, it's hard being a female. That's why men need to learn to respect us because we go through a hell of a lot of stuff. Mm. <laughs> 
He uh-huh. wanna eat my pussy. I said, you gon' catch AIDS. He <laughs> said, I don't care. We uncle die anyway. Is this the same lady? It's in the same folder. Oh, wow. Is she a TikToker? I feel like I... I forget who okay. sent this in. I, I think someone this. emailed it to uh to He wanna eat my pussy. I say you gonna catch AIDS. <laughs> he say I don't care we uncle die anyway. It's not a bad rhyme. You wanna you wanna throw a beat down well, to hold it? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's throw a beat AIDS to it. AIDS and where? <laughs> you wanna eat my pussy, I say you gonna catch AIDS. <laughs> You like it? <laughs> <laughs> I looped this, so feel free to do anything oh, to it. Okay. Yeah, oh, okay. Wow. minutes. Oh, great. Oh. <laughs> you want to eat my pussy? I say, you go catch AIDS. He say, I don't care. We don't go die anyway. It's not bad. <laughs> now, we don't even have to put the call out there, but you know that here come the remixes. Remixes oh, are coming. It's a pussy AIDS song. Yeah. It's, she's yeah. got a good beat. It's not. It's a good beat, though. Yeah. You want to eat my pussy, but you gonna catch. catch AIDS. You wanna eat, eat my, my pussy. pussy? I say you, you gonna, gonna catch, catch AIDS. AIDS. He say I don't care. We uncle die, die anyway. anyway. Yeah. yeah it's kind of. You know what? It's like it reminds me of. But tonight we're gonna party like it's 1999. So you're saying she just Man, needs to meet Prince? Yeah. Like yeah. it's kind of the same theme. Prince is like. Yo, Prince. Yeah. <laughs> got a new one for you man he wouldn't mind us taking his music and remixing it absolutely not he'd be a big big fan this guy was so itch. <laughs> now, now whatever she says sounds like a lyric I'm like our, our pussies be itching yeah. and our pussies fucking stink and our pussies fucking stink they have these huge warts that grow on them makes me wanna they smell like stink. fish oh my life man her no. pussy's going through some shit. She right needs now. to go to the doctor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's not right. 24 7 warts, itching, Jeez. smells. Yeah. It's a lot of pussy. It's not problems. a healthy pussy she's got. You do have to maintain uh, your pussy a lot, though. Yeah. There's a lot of maintenance that goes into having a healthy vagine. Sure. <sighs> yeah. yeah. You do have to wash it every day and, you know. Yeah. Trim take the care edges of it. and take care of it. And but maybe she's just not doing that, right? No. Or she's letting nasty dudes in there. Yeah. Blow up busting nuts and stuff. Ah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When's the last time you had an AIDS test? Uh, never. You never had an AIDS test? I don't give a fuck about that shit. Oh my God. I don't care. <laughs> God. You kids don't get AIDS tests anymore, right? That was just like a 90s hysteria. Uh, you ever had an AIDS no, test? I've gotten it before. Yeah. For mm. what? HIV. <laughs> Stupid. How do you have HIV? Because well, I don't because I took a, I took a test and everybody I know. has it. Babe. You knew before then. Why would you have HIV? What have you been doing? You been sharing needles? No, I mean you know just after like a questionable uh, <laughs> exchange, it's just like nah, I should I should get tested. <laughs> yeah, it's just like in the panel, you know. It's it's not like specifically just AIDS. It's <laughs> AIDS is included in everything else that I'm. I asking. always tell them test me for everything but AIDS, babe. I do. Babe. I say I, there's there's no, if I have it, I earned it. Let it let it live. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to get a test. Don't waste time. Oh my god. You know? Babe. I'm serious. I remember getting that AIDS test in the nineties. Remember the first time oh you did you really not do it? What? Getting an AIDS test. Mm-mm. Oh my god. Like because I was one it was really at the height of hysteria in the the 90s, yeah. I remember like, oh God, in college getting an AIDS test and just waiting. You used to have to wait like two weeks before they would call your ass up and then they bring you into a room and then they give you the questions. How many people have you had sex with? I don't know. Who are your partners? No idea. All that stuff. Mm-hmm. And then they scare you and then they tell you're negative. I remember one time horrible. I thought I might have AIDS. When? It was a while ago. <laughs> but it was just the flu or what? No, I just was like, it's possible, and then I just <laughs> I didn't do anything. Cool. <laughs> most guys in the world. I just wished it away. You can't will AIDS away. Baby. Yeah, you can if you wish real hard. <laughs> if you're like, oh, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. Yeah. 
men are so dumb, but you're the reason that that shit spreads because you guys don't get treated much right. like the pussy scratchy lady. And yeah, yeah. You give it to people. How about so, this beatboxer? Do you like having his nope. still image I was up hoping here? we could take it down. <laughs> <laughs> he should be on the talk. I don't know why he doesn't have an account. Hmm. Yeah. You think um, he gets laid? Yeah. So how many of your friends had STDs in college? Uh. Did you ever have an STD? No. I probably should have asked you this like 17 years ago. Probably. <laughs> I just assumed you were clean. I was. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did you ever get anything? No. Crabs? Not even crabs? No. What about you pigs in the booth? Crabs? I've never had anything. Any? No. Not no, yet? No, 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 no. Josh? Is Josh in there? Or that's Chris? He is. No, Josh is Josh, here. have you had crabs yet? I feel like you no, would. No, I never had crabs. You what had, did you have? What did you have? Chlamydia? I've never had anything. Never. Syphilis? No, I've never gotten tested for AIDS either. Yeah. You throw that you thing should. around, though. Why? I, well, do I look like fucking Tom Hanks in Philadelphia? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm fucking tan. I'm plump. You know, when I start getting real thin and sneezy, then you can test me. But you've never had a test for, have you been tested for other things? Oh, yeah. A yeah. million times. Oh. Not yeah. AIDS, but though. you're. But I you're... actually asked about AIDS, and they were like, you don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't really? even test for it. Uh, did, about... you ever, did you ever have a real questionable one, though, where you're like, well, you know what I mean? The girl, you're like, oh, this is probably something. I'm probably getting Like something. the girl or my yeah. dad afterwards? Well, I guess both. But like she walks out, and then you're like, fuck, that was risky. She's yeah, a, yeah, yeah. I've had those where you got. She wasn't quite like the lady in the video, but a little bit questionable downstairs. And I'm like, is that a sign of an STD? Yeah. Oh. A little. Yeah, yeah. The sniffs. Like yeah. you shouldn't be stinky. That's probably an infection. It shouldn't really be itchy. That's just probably an infection. And the warts. You know when like a uh, pussy looks sick. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> you know it's like a dog when it's a little like <laughs> out from the cold. About? Its nose gets a little wet. Yep. Like that, I remember. Th- How does a pussy look friends, sick? What do you? One of my friends you know what in I mean? college like it's like was like, a, like, got snot. He said oh, okay. that this girl, yeah, it's like a runny nose. All right. Exactly. You guys are this retarded. girl, this girl in college, uh, my my roommate hooked up. He's like, oh, our pussy, uh, you could smell it from like oh. a distance. So then I got in there and I was like, no, you can't. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. You ever uh, hook up with a girl after a wedding? Yeah. Mm. When they're all dancing around and oh, stuff yeah. like that. That's a rough, so kind of a hazard zone. That is, yeah. What, because she's sweaty from dancing? Right. And her vag smell. Well, you think your crotch smells like a treat after you've been oh, dancing? No. no, no, he's no, just not saying. not at all. I'm just saying, yeah. You're that saying, doesn't deter me from it or anything. Well, I'm saying your pussy probably stinks too. Yeah. After. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, your pussy probably does stink. Fuck yeah, it does. <laughs> Josh, do you have dates on sale? <laughs> God. Do I have dates on sale? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, January 2nd through 4th, <laughs> Laugh Boston on sale right now. Oh. Go see Josh in and Boston. Stinky dick. Yes, please. Yes. Have you ever won't smelled? Be stinky there. Do you smell your balls a lot? Are you stinky? I take a whiff. Yeah. I always Thanks do. Thanks to Manscaped, I <laughs> don't have stinky ones anymore. My what do you man. mean you always do? You always take if a I, whiff? If I scratch, I scratch with the backside of my thumb, uh. like in that crease. You know, like like your crotch crease, and then I'll go. Ugh! How do I not know this about you, you, fucking? Well, just to see what I got, and then sometimes you're like, I need to take a shower right now, and then sometimes you're like, my balls smell pretty good. I mean, no scent is a win, right? If you're like, my balls don't have any scent right now, it's pretty good. Let's see what it matters. Oh God, did you shower today? Nope. Oh my God, what the fuck, man? Not that strong. Not that strong. Ugh, you are so nasty. Why don't you take a shower this morning? I don't know. Well, it's not hard. It takes two seconds. I don't have AIDS. I don't need to take a shower. <laughs> um, guess who's back? Oh, no. Ready? Yeah. This is Herkster's hair of beauty, Sean, and barber shop <laughs> and tattoo way to masseuse screw tattoo parlors. Uh, <laughs> oh, <he's back. laughs> Holy shit so fed smokers uh, back i don't even know what the fuck was said right there nope. this one's really hard to follow really mm. okay yeah. but the visual cue because the little ladies put a little pink on our drink oh we're going to ink it's a ring that ink is and it? i can run over to the tattoo sink as long as they're wearing a mink and they're definitely not rinks 
I got a little drink. What is happening? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, holy that shit. Some... He's just he fucking lit his hair on fire. And he was like, oh. <laughs> to cut his hair, he's giving himself a haircut. Woo! That's fucking crazy. <laughs> um, I used to do that with my Barbies. This is cut different. Cut their hair. Yeah. That way, it's fast. It l- fire moves fast that though. Seemed like it was fast. <laughs> you gotta go quick. Holy. Let me say it again. Shit. I'm not. Hold on. I'm there's just more. Again. Must, yeah, oh. fucking. I want you to crazy. take when you're feathering it, brother. You gotta get a good grip on it. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> you gotta feather that shit. You gotta get it going, bud. Oh, you can hear it catching <laughs> you know on. What I mean? <laughs> gotta get her hot, too. Yeah. Oh, man, this guy oh, is wow. so fucking nuts. Wow. I mean, <laughs> if you don't know, this is the same man who <laughs> took a tooth out with a knife, right? Middle, he's like, toothache, no longer. Come see me. I'll help you get the fucking tooth out. Hmm. Um, can we show this one to Drew? Let's put this on the next Dr. Drew after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll make sure he sees it. Shit. Wow. So he's lighting uh, his hair on fire. Touch my camera through the fence, you <laughs> faggot. <laughs> that's him. That's uh, that's the guy right there. Ta-ta there, retard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I? I have to see it again, babe. I'm not understanding yeah. what I'm seeing. Well, let me move it down the line first, and then. Now that's a thrill, motherfuckers. To light yourself on fire, light your brain on fire. Huh? Doesn't that feel great? <laughs> huh? I oh mean... my god. Now you know Americans, I'm a demolition man. Huh? I am trained in the highest of calibers of fire bombs and explosives, okay? No one is better than me, okay? I promise you. Mm. Oh, oh, there it is. And uh, what I'm getting at, when you're feathering this shit, don't be scared. Burn the fucking head skin just a little bit so you know that you're on fire. Oh, man. The only thing that's upsetting me is I wish you would have turned on the interior light sooner because I wanted to see it from the beginning. I like to see when the hair is longer and now it's all gone. Oh, here, let's see what the last yeah, one is here. I'd like to see it. That shit's going to kind of hurt a little bit when you get to hell, okay? Oh, There's oh. no fucking doubt about that. No. See, y'all could be cutting your own hair at home <laughs> saving a lot of fucking money right now. But you're all fucking bored with life so bad. That you want to go have some pussy ass motherfucker cut your hair for you, huh? You know who he reminds me of? Who? Who G- does this remind you of someone? Gigi Allen. Oh, yeah. That same level of insanity? <laughs> Our hero? That I was... mean, he is on another planet. This guy is on on Neptune, man. What's going on? Hi, yi God damn, dude. He is wild. Not a lot shocks me on this show, but that yeah. was pretty amazing. He's right, though. You do save money if you do it that way. You just light your hair on fire. Yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh. Save money right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look Why at the picture on the money? roof. Yeah. Look at the ceiling picture. That's a creative idea. Yeah. His dog nice. looks nice, too. That's a really nice positive spin on this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> oh, God, I think I got it. Oh, fuck. And now my tooth Look at that hurt. bad tooth, folks. Look at that fucking thing. That's the way you do it at Falcon Car Wash. Falcon Car Wash? That's where he's at right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look how dirty his nails are. Yeah, well, he's been taking teeth out all day. What do you expect? I always think of him picking his nose with those dirty fingernails. Yeah. Ooh. Woo. Do you think he sniffs his nuts with those dirty hands? Probably. What do you yeah. think his nuts smell like? Yeah. I don't know. 
Mm. Whew. That was something. I, I really, I wasn't even ready for that. What's around his neck, too? What is that? Just a, a it's a brain monitor. <laughs> <laughs> it's like duct tape uh, oh, at a circle. I don't know what he's doing there. He set his hair on fire. To yeah. Cut it. Can it we like, s- it's a thrill, and it's also, it's a good way to save money again. This is Herxter's hair of beauty. Sean. And barber shop and tattoo way to masseuse screw tattoo parlors. <laughs> I think he's naming the business right then. Yeah, he's saying that's his company. This yeah. is this is yard barber. Yeah, tattoo <laughs> barber. masseuse and masseuse. tattoo, tattoo parlor. parlor. Yeah. Come on, tattoo dear retard. Cause the little ladies put a little pink on the drink. Put a little pink on the drink. I walk on the ink. Put the ink on the drink. And I can vent over the tattoo sink. Yeah. As long as you're wearing a mink and they're definitely not winks, I can have a little drink. Yeah. yeah. I like it's when he does that. that. Yeah. You know, I always forget too with these videos that he's also recording. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, like I forget that he's doing this and this. You're forgetting that he's a he's multi, holding it up multi hand. talented is what you're saying. He's also a cameraman yeah. and a performer. Most people <laughs> that are like, I'm going to set my hair on fire. And record it. They would place it down. Yeah. So that you're fully focused. He's like, nah, just want to keep this moving too. It's really. That's a lot. You're right. It really is. Woo. Wow. Talk on there, retard. I was not ready for that. What about <laughs> our parrot? Our parrot. We're working on it. <laughs> this will make you laugh. You want, I know you'll like it. Yeah. Laugh. Yeah. Okay. You'll laugh at this. Okay. Ready? Mm. 567. Oh, yeah. <gasps> this was on the talk this was on the talk yeah i've seen this one yeah. yeah yeah so if you're listening what happened was uh a customer came up put the beers on the counter he said the total she put it on the counter and then shoved it aggressively so it's the change spilled over to, on to his side and he said oop she said oops as she did that so then he shoved her beers off the counter and said oops yeah when i thought about this a lot when i saw it originally yeah like I was on her side of her. Whoa. Oops. See, here's the deal, man. I think it's a setup. Yeah, it, it feels is, like right? it's a bit. It because feels like a bit. he, how come he knew to roll on her, right? Because uh, unless now, here's the deal, man. There's also a TikTok account of a guy who runs a liquor store. There's a few of them, and he often yes. will have the camera rolling because he probably deals with her a lot so maybe Absolutely. that's how it's real they know they're regulars yeah and who's an asshole and who's not i follow an instagram account like that too at a, oh yeah a, a crazy liquor a, a store, store. <laughs> yeah. that's yeah. fucking amazing yeah yeah because this guy's like <laughs> you know my job is fucking insane yeah so, that, felt, that felt like a bit but it's still funny it's really funny yeah. well or uh, sad and aggressive because she could have been really hurt yeah potato potato funny or sad what is your favorite all-time fast food treat oh f- Fuck. All right. If I'm going to be. Be honest. Uh, okay. All right. All right. There's two two areas. Carl's Jr. Western bacon cheeseburger with extra barbecue sauce and extra onion rings. Mm-hmm. Or I'm going to go classic McDonald's. And? Cheeseburger, fries, hot, 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 Coke. How about their? Nuggets. McRib. Oh, the fucking, it's a seasonal item. I know. And I wish it was around all year. You it's brought a, it up to them. I did. I asked the representative when I worked with McDonald's and she said it's, the, it's a pork supply issue. They don't have enough pork. A pork supply issue. Yeah. This is a. Oh, I love McRibs. Yeah. God damn, awesome. I love them. The sauce. It's all about the sauce. It's so messy. I love that it's oh, messy. Oh, oh it's a it's mess. So good, and the pickles are everything, and the onion. Uh oh. Ah, it's always how it is. You get some on your <laughs> hand, right? I do love a McRib. Who doesn't love it? But it's too much sauce, though. That McDonald's would not approve of that amount yep. of sauce on there. <gasps> can we show this on YouTube? Uh, no, we can't, but you guys can describe Babe, what's happening. Babe, I don't what think do you we, this is appropriate for a show. What happened? <laughs> what happened? No. You know what my favorite part was? No. 
on on the second clip, you didn't see how the clip ended. I don't need to see. You didn't. You didn't. Oh, so he's like, no. I got to clean my hand. And look at the bottom of the screen. You missed this. One of his dong. Yeah. You didn't say anything. I didn't. I didn't that's think it I'm, was a peener. That's what I'm saying. It's exactly what I'm saying. And then in this next clip, babe, babe, he puts his penis in the McRib sandwich because it's so good. Is that what he's saying? Of course, that that's he what he's loves saying. His McRib? This <laughs> is our new pitch to McDonald's. Get us back in the fold. Let us, let us take this in another direction. Here's what I'm proposing. You give us some of the money back. Uh, we get the like the most popular items: cheeseburger, Big Mac, chicken sandwich, McRib, and we get a social media campaign going <laughs> of people fucking those sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. Well, now the extra sauce makes sense. Oh my god, that's I gotta feel so. Good. How good do you think that feels? Really good. We well, yeah. only if the sandwich is still warm. That's true. It's got to be at r- the right temp. But a warm sandwich like that, and you can fuck the shit out of a McRib. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> McRib, fuck the shit out of this sandwich. Yeah. Good. I like. Oh, what about the Big Mac? Because that's got a lot of sauce too. Yeah. Yeah. Hard. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Big Mac's big enough that you could probably fit your balls and your dick inside of it. Yeah, I'm gonna come now. I'm gonna come now. <laughs> <laughs> What about the Sundays? Too? Oh, a Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> oh, get off! Or definitely a hot apple pie. Mm. That's probably the best. Those one to get a little peanut. too hot. You <laughs> might end up with a problem if you if you put your your dick into like a real fresh <laughs> <laughs> hot apple pie. Well, <laughs> it's gonna hurt. It's gonna McDonald's hurt. so good you want to fuck the shit out of it. That's it. Yeah. That's Ba-da-ba-ba-ba, the campaign. Ba-da-ba-ba, we're fucking it. McDonald's, you're gonna fuck this food. <laughs> yeah, so good. <laughs> Which uh, McDonald's entree will you be fucking? Hmm. I don't know. I I really feel like this McRib is a brilliant idea, but mm. you know, if I'm gonna start slow, um, I guess I would just put it into like a medium fries. <laughs> you're not worried Kinda. that the salt will get inside of your hole. It will, but that's part of the excitement. <laughs> it's like setting your hair on fire. You know? <laughs> See, if you're going to do this to a McRib, you should ask for extra sauce because they normally don't come with this much Q sauce on there. Mm, that's true. I'm mm. a smelly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I bet a quarter pounder would be good too because oh, they put yeah. a lot of ketchup on that. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good. Um, well, thanks for sharing. That was really nice. Absolutely. Absolutely. Can we talk about your completely abnormal reaction? To driving 60 miles an hour. I don't like going fast. What is going on though? I don't like going fast. I'm in the car I'm and I go. I'm not Ricky Bobby. I go, hey, uh, I'm going to punch it. I'm going to punch it in this car. Um, but like, I'm giving you a heads up, not a surprise. On Ventura so, Boulevard, it's not safe. I go, just see. So and she's like, yeah, okay, cool. Like, I'm just giving you like fair warning. And also, I'm just going to go zero to 60. So, you know, <laughs> dude, I straighten up. Okay, you ready? Yeah. I hit 40. Ah, I don't like it. Slow down. You're scaring me. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. Like, we're going 40 miles an hour. Yeah, but <coughs> it was too fast. The pickup was too good in that car, and I felt it in my uterus. Like, you know, when you go so fast that you feel it in your... Do you ever feel it in your nuts when you go on a roller coaster? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? When yes. you feel it in your internal organs? Yes. It, I felt it in my uterus, like the tingling, and I got scared for my children. I literally saw my baby's faces in my... Flashing in my brain. I, I I felt scared. And what if we both died that day? How would we die? You could hit a homeless person. There's no, a lot of homeless. It was a, a wide open Ventura street. Boulevard. It was a wide open street in the middle of the street. You could see. Uh, yeah. It was totally fine. That That is ridiculous. <clears throat> I just don't like going fast. That's what you get for reacting like that. <sighs> I think I think it was a it was a little much. Well, I, I there's things I don't like. I've never liked going fast, and so don't you know that by now after seven, well, yeah, but I figured like if we're together, I don't grown like ups it. and I get to go like, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna punch it right here, and you're like, yeah, okay, cool. 
that you're not going to scream in the I car. I got scared. What do you want me to do? Deny my my real reaction to things Your so that great. you feel better about how you're driving. Thank you. It's really nice. Alan did a really nice job, yeah. and it's very soft. Would it you is. like to touch how soft it is? Despite I've been bleaching it since I was 13, it's soft like a rabbit. Don't pull on <laughs> it, stupid. <laughs> Jerk. All right. You ready to have a competition? What? Speaking of food. Mm. All right. Hey, man. Thanks What's for bringing over the Who's food. Who's going to eat yeah. more? Is that my so cheat day? So I ordered a lot. So I got a spokes to sandwiches so we could have a competition. You want to see who can finish first? Who do you think can finish gonna first? You, I'm going to go the guy on the left in the uh, yeah, in neon. The, yeah, the neon. So there's two guys. They're starting to eat food. Uh, one guy has on a neon yellow, I guess. Belly shirt. Belly yeah. shirt. The other guy, what color shirt is that? Is that purple. Like a t- purple. Um, one guy has a beard. All right, and they're both gonna. Always to, the bearded guy can eat more. Right? Always the bearded Let's guy. See. Are they gonna vomit? Is that what you're doing? No. Oh. God, you got them flabby. A little bit more. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh, I don't like it already. Yeah. Is this us in ten years, babe? No. Ten years. It's last Thursday. I wish you could do this with me. Let's do this together. I would love to do this with you. Is this what? this is what we look like when we fuck? I don't think we look this good. <laughs> I don't think we do either. What are these two weirdos doing? What the fuck is this? This is in the Dobbs collection. What the fuck is happening with these two? He said How he- is this sexual? Are they gonna fuck or not? Th- this is on YouTube. So, uh, yeah, someone sent this in at first. I thought it was like, oh, this is like a bad fake pre- like sketch or whatever. Yeah. And then they started rubbing their stomachs together. And then I thought, you know what? Maybe this is for the show. <laughs> I'm more worried about the fan. Look how loosely that's just duct taped <laughs> up there. That looks terribly You don't think this is like a top tier? Pr- what le- <laughs> what <laughs> leads you to make this, you think? <laughs> like what's, what's going on in their lives where they agree to do this? <laughs> It probably starts with first like, hey, do you want to make a video? And then they get the camera out and then they forget that they need to figure out what they're going to record. Hmm. And then I think it just quickly spins out. They got to be into each other's guts though but, before you make this. Yeah. You know? But I'm confused because is this sexual? Are they going to F yeah. or this is just... A I don't f- think they're going to... Se- I don't understand. They're What's- not going to F for the video, but this is definitely kink in nature right this is a fetish yeah this is some, some of that i feel like this is in the same lane as a uh, king ass ripper you know this is a little gluttony yeah. action uh, a little feeder type stuff right yeah. we watch you get big i li- i wish some ugh, i wish i could just get fat don't you just wish you didn't have to i don't wish i'm there put the brakes <laughs> i would weigh 400 pounds so easily i would if i could eat all day i would just eat all day i like it yeah i hate trying i know it's the worst i fucking hate trying i know I just want to eat everything I want to eat. I'm going from here to a workout. What's the fucking point? <laughs> oh, I, I know. What is the point? I know. I I'm should just the... be making these videos with these guys. <laughs> I really should. I should just go like, where are you guys? Do you want a third guy there? A <laughs> third guy? Do you need another beard? And then they're like, okay. And then I'm like, I got the food. I got the gut. Ugh, what would you eat every day? I have underwear. If you could eat one thing every day, what would it be? Like what? What? What's your day like if you're just off the rails? Be honest. Uh, it's a combina- It's 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 a combination. Like I'll <laughs> I'll eat fat, but not sweets. Okay. And I'll want to. So that's what I would. If you were just like <laughs> fuck it, you're gonna die in a month. I would just be like, just bring it all then. You know. Well, would, give me okay. Here's my. I would my day. start the day with like a breakfast burrito. Ooh, that's a lot. That's already your whole day's calories. Yeah, a breakfast yeah. Breakfast burrito. But like that would be my warm up. Everything. And then I would jump into <laughs> sweets. I would just be like, get bring some French toast, some waffles, yeah, pancake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The sweets are what I usually just go no to. My pregnancy diet with our first kid. Yeah. I would do eggs Benedict for breakfast. That's already the points. Like on Weight Watchers, that's like yeah. twenty one points. That's yeah. your whole fucking day basically. And then I would do this. I would get a chocolate croissant. For breakfast too, so that's oh. my breakfast: eggs Benedict, chocolate croissant. Yeah. Lunch is going to be a full deep dish pizza. Yeah. With like pepperoni and everything I want. That sounds great. And then I like the thin crust more than the deep. Dish. <laughs> I do. Well, I only get the thin crust because it's less calories, but I like a deep dish. I want cheeseburgers every day. Cheeseburger, and then that's dinner. I'll do a cheeseburger and Western bacon yeah, cheeseburger. Yeah, and then I'd be like, "So what's for dessert?" <laughs> and then we would start waffles. I mean, uh, brownies, donuts. <laughs> ice cream you know what we should do Mm. which we don't let's let's just do one day of eating 
all that. <laughs> just do one day. Just eat till we get sick? Yeah. Like, I haven't eaten like an asshole since I was pregnant with Ellis. Like, I want to do a day where we wake up, I eat, I eat <sighs> everything I want. Everything, and there's no holds barred. I'm down for donuts. Donuts are good. I'm down. Donuts are good. Really surely what? yourself, yeah. <laughs> but are you not curious as to how this ends? You haven't said a fucking thing. God, I'm sitting here holding on to the last clip. Oh, I am sorry. I'm just, I mean, you said you I'm thought really... he wins. Don't you want to see? <laughs> Let's see. God. Oh. Oh, fuck. This is not even sexual. <clears throat> That's cute. That's cute when he pokes the other guy. I love Dr. Pepper, too. I would do that. You know what the saddest part is? What? The guy on the left <laughs> kind of looks like if I got my shit together. <laughs> He's yeah. also y much younger. Baby. He's in his 20s. You can't compare yourself to somebody in their 20s. It's not fair. He's like, come on, Tom. This could be you. Just fucking no, that's not. You look much better than him. Go for a jog him. today. You look a lot better than him. You look like so much better than both of those guys. No mm. way. No way, babe. All right, um, Jean. Yeah. We had such a delightful time with uh, our guest today, Kate Kennedy. She was amazing. Uh, she's an adult performer, also a comic. Mm -hmm. um, so she is, she's doing the, our, our two favorite things, mm -hmm. um, porn and comedy. That's right. No, but she was, it was actually, she, she kind of really impressed us. I well, mean, she, she used a big word. She said arcane. She, I don't think any any guest has been that smart to use that word on our show. I've never had somebody use that word. I barely know what it means. I mean, but she also had just really in, impressive insight into a lot of stuff. She answered everything very honestly. Yes. It was a great conversation. So we enjoyed. Kate, thanks for coming. Um, and make sure, uh, should we run through these dates real quick? Or, yeah? Jean? Wait, who won the contest? Th that's just how it ends. Sorry. Well, do you, do you declare a winner? I do not declare a winner. I think the guy on the left still... Uh, yeah, they both. They're both fat. What was that? It's oh. a motherfucking mastermind. Don't forget to do uh, my sound drops in between mine. Oh, okay, yeah. So, let's see. This is uh, the following week, right? Yeah, so I'm in Hawaii. Hawaii. <gasps> with my family. I'll be in Hanaruru mm -hmm. December 28th. <laughs> and I'll be in <laughs> Maui December 29th. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, in the new year, I'm in uh, Australia and New Zealand. Mom, that, Australia. that rounds up the Take It Down tour. So January 25th in Auckland, New Zealand is the last take it, official Take It Down tour show. Uh, then I start uh, right away in February working on the new stuff. I have a Spanish set um, in multiple venues and I have sets working out the new English stuff. Um, they're all at tomsegura.com slash tour. So please go to my site and get tickets to these new shows. Jean? Jean, uh, December 19th in Sperm Bank, uh, the, my last night of residency at Flippers in the Yoohoo Room. And then we roll into 2020. 2020. With Audit Gentleman. Yeah. January 9 to 11. Momston, Texas, Cab City Comedy Club. <laughs> January 30th through February 1st, Pooston, Texas at the Houston Improv. <laughs> <laughs> Was that the spinning guy? <laughs> February 14th through 15th, that's Valentine's weekend. Come spend it with me in Tampa, Florida at the Tampa Improv. <laughs> March 7th, Pasadena at the Ice House. That's the make good from October 25th. March 13th through 14th, Doral, Florida at the Miami Improv. What's Miami? <laughs> Cry Miami. March 26th through 28th, Fallis, Texas at the Addison Improv. <laughs> April 3rd through 4th, Jew Dork Titties at Caroline's Comedy Club. April 24th through 25th, Des Moines, Iowa at Le Funny Bone. And then, you're a fucking fat ass whore! And then June 12th through 13th, Fartnix, Arizona at Stand Up Live. Tickets are at Christina P. Online. Oh. Also, <laughs> was that the fart slowed down? Yeah. 
<laughs> also, check out Where My Mom's At if you're interested in the mom world or you have a mom who likes to keep it shit real. Keep yes. 100. Listen to that, Joe. Listen to Two Bears, One Cave. Two Bears, One Cave is on this channel, Your Mom's House Podcast YouTube channel. Also, you can download it everywhere. Podcasts are available on my personal Tom Segura page. I have now started uh, Tom Segura en Español which is a Spanish podcast. I've also been uploading some original content. Uh, we've been made a music video. We made a sketch. Uh, we have some behind the scenes stuff there. Uh, don't forget to also catch The Honeydew with That's Ryan right. Sickler and? and Dr. Drew After Dark with Dr. Drew Pinsky. Those are all, uh, those both are on uh, the Your Mom's House podcast YouTube page. Thanks gentlemen for all your work. Guys in the booth, killing it for us. And um, that's that. Enjoy the show. Thanks, guys. Tushy, tushy, tushy. You're the one. Tushy, tushy, tushy. So much fun. <laughs> tushy. It's an amazing, unconventional gift for anybody in your life. Everyone has an ass. Everyone deserves the gift of tushy. And I know you're thinking, what? Oh, why would I want to sit on something that cleans my butt completely? Why are you being weird about it? You know, do you know that most of the world uses a bidet? They do. It's just Americans that are weird about having clean butts. Yeah, I mean, you got to knock the chocolate off. You do. And Tushy sprays directly to your ass and removes the poop completely. So you're not sitting in a bacteria all day. That leads to nasty things like hemorrhoids, yeast infections, UTIs, itchy assholes, and skids, BTW. I Saves got off the money. plane last yesterday. Yes, got yes. home and sat on that tushy. And yes, just you did. High pressure wash my hole. Yeah, and you, you save money on toilet paper. It won't clog your toilets the way wipes do, which we just had an incident because somebody didn't use our tushy in the house. Yep. Uh, and everybody goes, what about the water? It's toilet water. It's not toilet water. It's fresh water. Tushy connects to the water supply behind your toilet to spray your dirty pants. Your dirty pants, your dirty parts with clean, fresh water. Yuck. Here's the best part of Tushy. It's only $79. That's a steal. What a fantastic, fantastic uh, deal. So go to hellotushy.com slash your mom to get 10% off your first order. Again, hellotushy.com slash your mom for 10% off your order. And not only do you keep your booty clean and feeling <laughs> fresh, but more likely to get someone to eat your scrum. Okay, with the scrum eating. And <laughs> joining us now is an adult entertainer and comedian, Kate Kennedy. Thank you very much for being hey. here. Thank you very uh, much for having me. We have so many things to talk about. <laughs> we're so curious about everything. Uh, we're big, big fans of what you do <laughs> and how you do it. And- um, Where's the fart mic? <laughs> It's in the drawer. I have one. <laughs> Jesus. There is you it go. on? I don't know if it's on. I don't is know it anything. On? Is it connected? I don't know anything. <laughs> is it? Oh, it's got. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did it register? We got a fight. Yeah! Right. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt. That was very. That was Zanku oh, was chicken. Every time. What did I say? After I have Zanku. Kate, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> back to what is important. Um, <clears throat> Don't be a hater. He's just a fart mic hater. Um, I am a fart mic hater. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about you. Yes. So <laughs> you're uh, you're not from here, but you're living here now. Yes. You're performing in the adult industry. You're also doing stand-up. How, we want to go back to the origins, right? Like right. for somebody that does what you do now and uh, you're on camera mm -hmm. doing sexually exciting things. Um, do you come from a background of like, were you a sexually very active experiment? You know what I mean? Like, were yeah. you, were you having a lot of sex before you got in the adult industry? Yeah. So I have kind of a weird background on that because I grew up Catholic. So I grew up like super, oh, hello, hello. Yeah. Yep. another one. I yep. knew I smelled it on you. Yep. Like it yep. never goes away. All the guilt and shame. Just, yeah, <laughs> like, I feel guilty if it's like a nice day outside. Like yeah. my back is just like a little hunched over mm -hmm. all the time. Sure. Um, but I grew up like that. And then I got really into when I was in college, I got really into the BDSM scene. You did? What? How yeah. did you get into I feel that? like that's so advanced to be that young. It, being, yeah. yeah. I like borrowed my room mates shoes yeah. and like her like heels yeah and i drove because i i'd like just gone through a bad breakup and i like was really interested and i want to explore uh -huh. it so i like drove down to denver i like went to this there was like a club it was like in a warehouse in like a scary part of denver i was like i'm not gonna die i'm not gonna I'm not gonna be murdered yeah um i went in and i started i just started going to this like social bdsm club all the time and then i started working there what goes on in this like so, so people know what happens in a social bdsm club What's so it's like 
Uh, it's kind of like any other club. So there's people, some people just hang out. There's like food and drinks and stuff. Okay. Um, and then there's like a big dungeon. And so people will pair off and go play. And you can see people getting tied up and flogged and, and all flogged this. Flogged and whipped. And mm -hmm. Wait, hold on. So what's your intro to BDSM? Is there you just a have the interest? Dating? I like, no, I just Googled it. I was like very interested in it. It was like the porn that I watched. And I was like, I, wow. I had just gone through this breakup. So I was like, I'm just going to go try because I want to see. And right away you feel obviously comfortable. You end up working there. Yeah. I like met a bunch of people. I made a ton of friends. Um, I ended up moving down to Denver after I graduated college and just I was working there at night I started um, like touring around the country and helping teach classes and throw big really? events and conventions wow. yeah. Well, at this time though I'm just jumping around here but you're probably 21 20 something 22, like that yeah are you um, it's something like that you know for a lot of people it would be like their secret is mm -hmm. it a secret like do people who know you know what you're doing yeah like at, at that point everybody knew because I oh, was they did. that was like my whole friend group too okay so it was very much like that was like my social circle and kind of like the people that I knew and we would um, because it's kind of each city has their own little like scene so we you know we'd go to like salt lake city or vegas or portland and, we and you're be, teaching mm -hmm. you're teaching like how to be a, a dom or something um i was kind of teaching i taught a lot of like uh poly like polyamory like ethical non-monogamy uh you're communication actually, classes oh wow yeah okay so Tom's this is like poly and bi this i am poly and i'm bi <laughs> so um so you're actually giving people like educational information mm -hmm. on this how yeah. to do it what what's like the a basic tenant of uh you know Com communicative uh, polyamory. What do you, what's like the foundation of it? Uh, my favorite thing is always say like honesty. Honesty yeah. is always the biggest thing. And then communication happens not on your level, but on the level of who you're communicating with. Interesting. Mm. So when you say That's something, especially in a relationship to like your partner, you can't say it the way that it makes sense to you. You have to figure out what's how it's going to make sense to them. Oh, that is wisdom for life. That applies yeah, right? to everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, That's my really favorite good. piece of wisdom. Yeah. Mm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're, you're teaching that. Mm -hmm. You're having fun in the scene. Yeah. How do like, is there a moment where you're like, I'm going to, I'm going to try porn. Like I'm going to actually pull the trigger or does somebody like suggest it to you? How does that actually so start? I started off behind the scenes in porn actually. So I was up in Portland for a convention. I was doing like some shows up there and I was with a friend who was shooting for this BDSM porn company that was based there. And she's like, Hey, come with me. It'll be a really fun weekend. Like we'll just have a good time. And I ended up meeting them. And then a couple months later they emailed me and they were like, Hey, we really need a new marketing manager. Um, and my background's in advertising and social media. And they're like, do you want a job in this industry? And I was like, okay, that sounds way better than what I'm doing. Oh, so you're Denver. excited for this offer. Yeah, so okay. I went up and I like worked on a set for a weekend and I did an interview and they're like, you want to move to Portland and work in our office and help us do these crazy bondage movies. And I was like, yes. Now at this time when that happens, mm -hmm. do you have any, is it like a, a secret that you want to be on camera or you're like, no, I just, I just want to be on this other side of it. I wasn't even sure I wanted to be on camera yet. Okay. I really, I knew that like I, this was my world and I loved it and I wanted to like, I wanted to get paid for it was the biggest thing. Cause right. like nothing that I was doing, like working at the dungeon or traveling, none was of that making was money. making money. Yeah. And it, it, it turned into something that I was doing 20, 30 hours a week. And I was oh like, my I goodness. have to make yeah. money doing this. Yeah. Um, so it turned like, it turned this thing of like, you know, this is going to be a really fun way to work where it's not a set schedule. And, you know, I get to do some stuff from home and I can travel and, and, you know, I, you know, it was walking around the woods in like cargo pants and Doc Martens like building crazy bondage equipment and sure. like walking hot girls. It was the best job ever. <laughs> um, so yeah, I started doing that and then I worked there for like six months and started shooting some stuff for them because um, I was like, oh, my resume is already kind of blown so yeah. I might as well go do this. Uh, and then I started doing mainstream porn after that. Um, I came down to LA and I shot for like a week. Behind I, the scenes still? No, I came down to LA to like work for bigger companies, like mainstream. But like on camera? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what's yeah. the first time on camera? Is it, It's up in Portland doing it was up in Portland. BDSM mm -hmm. though thing? Yeah, yeah. And what's your first like mainstream thing that you do? Like the first like, mainstream that, porn movie I was yeah, in? Yeah, yeah. Like is it, is it, you know, are you full of anxiety? Is it overwhelmed? Like, you know what I mean? To make the leap? Is it, feels like it would be like a big... Mood. I was really excited like my very first day because mm -hmm. I was like, oh, it's porno day. It's porno day. You were pumped um, for it. Yeah, I was pumped. I know I wasn't like nervous about it because yeah. I'd been, I'd also been around it for like a year. So I was, oh, right. I knew the people that were there. Like, I think I already knew the, like the first guy that I worked with. We were already friends. You were. Okay. Yeah. So. so, but getting naked and do what was your first scene? My first scene was up in Portland and it was for uh, insects and it was for hard tide. So it's a rope bondage site. So I got tied up and beaten. I didn't actually, they don't actually do a lot of sex. It's mostly just like bondage naked bondage. Is, yeah. that a, is it a thrill to do it when it's for camp? It is still a yeah. thrill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then when you come down and you do your first mainstream, is it like mm -hmm. a straight up just 
uh, you know, sex scene. Straight. Yeah, it was. Yeah, way. It was way less work. It was a lot easier. Oh, really? Oh, oh, shit. oh yeah. easier than being. Oh, BDSM is way way harder. Why is that? It's just it's a longer day. It's more brutal. I mean, I did like a seven minute scene where I was like hanging upside down by my ankles. Like yes. That was, yeah. So the blood is in your head mm-hmm. and and being beaten all day too, yeah. I imagine. Mm-hmm. And how do you handle that? I mean, I, you, I assume you like it on some yeah, level. Yeah, I like but it. It's fun. I mean, you can communicate. Like, you communicate through the entire scene. Like, I did a scene one time where I actually got waterboarded. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's intense. It was super Oosh. intense. And it looks, when you see the scene, it looks insane. But like when we actually <laughs> did it, <laughs> yeah. I know what I'm saying. It sounds insane yeah. too. <laughs> what? There's yeah. no way to come back from that. Um, but uh, they would, you know, we'd they'd, like pour the water and then we would cut and I would breathe and then we'd cut and breathe. So it's, it's pieced together. There's some movie right. magic there. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Holy shit. So yeah. coming from being waterboarded mm-hmm. and tied, I get right. Yeah. Boy, girl penetration is mm-hmm. it's like oh just arch your back just and layer, layer yeah. you know so wait was it a thrill to suit to shoot your first mainstream scene? was that was that something where you're like this is gonna yeah. be awesome it was exciting because it, it was, was a company i'd like wanted to work for um yeah. and it was yeah it was a good scene i was happy with it so Where? yeah why mm-hmm. is it what was it what makes it a good scene like what's um, your if you have good chemistry with the person that you work with um if it's a nice day on set like really like the chemistry of like everyone that's working mm. on it like the director and the cool PA and people everything. people are cool people good day you know when you feel like you can communicate mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. do you have any say in who the gentleman is that you're going to be working with mm-hmm. yeah yeah so i have a no list of people that i don't work with <laughs> <Good> for <laughs> this you is a, this is an industry standard right this is yeah this is very standard. now do you I do you it. have a no list on day one uh no i mean because you don't know everybody right yet. but so do people on your no list is because you worked with them or just you've heard about them like does it or is it both it's both yeah. yeah so some people i'm like i worked with them and, and not like honestly there's people on my no list and it's not that i don't like like them as a person or anything but we don't have any chemistry and i'm uh, like mm. anything we shoot it goes me shit like i don't want to put out a bad scene that's really interesting that's you're yeah. really concerned about the product mm-hmm. yeah so you're like you know we worked together and it just was it was all yeah like going through the motions mm-hmm. or like was, you you're just you don't do it for me like yeah there's aesthetically yeah yeah i always wonder that now the guys probably in in your industry never get to be like i don't really feel <laughs> chemistry with it, right like the guys are like look man you should show up i mean they do a little bit like yeah. it's it's kind of like anything like it, it's kind of like being like a comic too like uh, the more you advance into it the mm-hmm. less likely you are to do like you know a really like like beginner kind of level show sure, like sure. You, the more say you have in like who you want I to be you. on stage or on your show with you um so like rocco would say yeah. no i don't fuck her no, no, no. <laughs> yeah no like they will like the bigger guys really have a lot yeah. more say like somebody like karen lee or like manuel ferrera is really like like they cast their own girls they're like oh i want to work with you mm. um so yeah so the more yeah the more you work and the more known you are the more say you kind of have in it got you um but yeah and then there's all these there's also people that are on my new list where i'm like i see you on the internet like it's i see you on twitter like popping off or being crazy or doing i don't want to work with you. i'm like whoa 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 no 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 like yeah Mm -hmm. now what happens all right take us through (coughs) you're showing up to Mm -hmm. shoot a scene with uh somebody who is you're you're cool to shoot with Mm -hmm. and like let's say but let's say it's a first time yeah do you walk through like what what's the what's the conversation like before you shoot with like the, with the other talent with the other talent on a first time you're working with them um usually i mean it's a pretty small world so it's pretty rare that i like get to set to work with somebody that i've never met before really yeah mm. most of the time and like i work with a lot of the same people too so there's people that i've shot like four or five scenes with mm-hmm. um but if it's a new like i just had that happen the other day like you know i try to like go up and be nice i'm like hi i'm kate you yeah. know what's up like and i'll be like do you is there anything that you really like that like really knocks your hair back like you oh know? really and they'll go mm-hmm. ahead and they'll tell me and i'll tell them and i'll be like hey you know please don't do this or be cognizant of like my hips or whatever oh we you say go that safety stuff and please don't yeah. do what like don't like just out of nowhere jam don't a finger in my ass or? yeah don't bite me don't bite please me. don't bite me <laughs> i agree like, yeah <laughs> <laughs> don't and what's your other don'ts uh yeah don't don't stick your fingers in me just in general don't stick your fingers in me like they're yeah. dirty in your vag yeah too? yeah i'm yeah. like unless i see you like scrub them like with purell oh, immediately right. before right. right please don't do Good that point. yeah um and then yeah like or you know you like i'll say like you can pull my hair because i don't have extensions that's a really big one. Oh right cause <laughs> a lot of girls probably have, have extensions to, yeah. and they you know they'll get really upset so i'm like you can pull on it that's fine like it's you know and then some of the guys are like, hey, easy on the balls. Like just. You know, exactly. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, yep. And what about. Shit, I just had it and I lost it. Uh, what about your period? What do you do when you're on your period? I always wonder that. So I have an IUD. So I actually haven't had my period in like three years. Great. Oh. 
science is yeah. awesome. <laughs> so then there's no days. But it, let's say bef- other girls, what would they do? So they actually take they a makeup sponge uh, and uh, they <laughs> put yeah. it up in their vagina uh-huh. and it just absorbs what? everything. Yeah. Oh. Like a little white, like the disposable kind yes. that you get at Walgreens. Yeah. Really? The beauty blender. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. More mm-hmm. than Can it get stuck that? in there? So you have to take it out after it's done. Oh, um, right. So I actually just helped a girl take hers out the other day. <laughs> after yeah. see, she's like, I don't know. She's like, it's stuck. It's like really in there. I was like, okay, like I'll help you. Like <laughs> lay on your back. And like, I was like, I'll get wow. it. Like I promise I won't scratch you. Yeah. Yeah. And what about butt stuff? Are you do you oh, do butt stuff? Do. Let's, yeah. Let's fucking Oh, sorry. Readjust. Sorry. All hold right. On. All right. So I'm so excited. I want to hear all this. This stuff. square won't even. <laughs> Go down there and eat my scrump. Will you tell Do her? Do you lick butthole man's yes. butts? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> She gets paid too. It's different. I she do it, do it for free. I do it for free too. Oh I, I gotta tell God. you, I do it with the guy I'm oh, dating. Yeah. What? <laughs> I'm supposed to say no, but women don't do this. I mean, you know what? It works best say if you do it in the shower. There you go. Like do it in the shower. In the shower? Like after everything's just been clean, when you've watched them clean it. Okay, yeah, but you deal with probably hairless, uh, dolphin-like, <laughs> sorry, you know. Faye. You'd be surprised. Effeminate men. There's, there's not effeminate macho, men. hairy <laughs> bears like my husband Please. that are sweaty and have multiple dutes in one day. I just had a really bad one out yeah, there. Yeah, and that's why, that's all I hear is him taking dumps and stuff, so uh, I'm this afraid. Is the, coming from the woman who just farted twice into a microphone. Mom, my butthole's still way cleaner than yours. <laughs> uh-huh, it's pretty hairless. I mean, maybe give it a little trim, you know. Aren't yeah. you, but what does it taste like, man butt? Aren't you afraid they uh-huh. taste duty? Sweat? It doesn't taste bad. No. What does it taste like? Be honest. It tastes is it like, like licking a it coin? It kind of tastes like balls. Yeah. Same like yeah. ball sack kind of taste. It's a little sweat. But like again, like I highly recommend doing this like right after you've showered. Yeah. yeah. That's the best time to do it. It's just scrubbed. It's you know, I don't do it like clean. casually. Like not just like, you know. Just like after dinner. Huh? Yeah, not just like after dinner. Yeah. Do you ever have the thing I'm, I'm thinking about like, you know, things people like mm-hmm. where some like you go like, you know, don't fucking do this. And then the person does it. Do mm-hmm. you like. Will you stop? Oh. Will the oh, scene yeah. stop? Mm-hmm. You're like, oh, hey, yeah. hey, hey, yeah, we yeah. just I covered just this? I was you. just doing a scene uh, last week where this guy had my leg up and he had it like, he had it up and was like pivoting it. Oh, wow. And I was like, my hips don't fucking bend like that. Like, I'm not Barbie. And so oh. I just, he wouldn't, like, I kind of like pushed at him and he wouldn't stop. And you don't want to like yell cut if you don't have to, especially because yeah. there's other people in the scene. And so like, I just started kicking him because I was like, I don't wow. know what to do. So I just started kicking this. Sh- and then finally he like got the message and like dropped my leg. Um, but yeah, sometimes you just have to kick people. Um, how <laughs> long do these scenes last? How long is a guy just nailing you? Cause I imagine like, right? Like they have to get this cut. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's get this angle. And you're like, dude, my vag is gonna, you know, you, you only yeah. take so much. Oh yeah. There's sometimes where you're just like, okay. Like I, usually they're not terribly long. Like the sex is the fastest thing to shoot for really? sure. The it dialogue is- takes way long. Really? Oh my god! The di- like the dialogue is just because most people, a lot of people in porn are not actors. They didn't come to LA to be no. actors. They're not interested in it. I but know. you do have to be able to do some basic dialogue. Right, because for the setup, oh. right? Yeah. The setup. And like, hey, mom left. We're here hmm, all alone. I know I, you're my sister. I guess it's what? okay because we're not really related. You gotta <laughs> hit that tagline. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and so sometimes you're working off of somebody that's just, they don't, they can't, they can't and they can't do the same lines for continuity. So you just, you have to keep, oh, it's oh, like, man. so, and they'll be like, what's my line? And I'm like, it's this, like I read the script. Um, so they show up not even ready to shoot anything. Oh yeah, totally. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so that can be, or they'll try to like take it in a weird direction. No. Like if it's ad lib, cause a lot of it's like ad libbed improv dialogue. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So that's like way more frustrating. Usually the sex is between like. 20 to 40 minutes oh that's a long yeah. time to get i just did an orgy and an orgy is 60 minutes of sex through yeah that's a really and are you rotating long time yeah partners or whatever i think so my goal in an orgy is to be so the way an orgy shot there's always one less guy than there is girls mm-hmm. so oh. there's like four guys and five girls mm-hmm. which means one girl is not getting nailed one girl is sitting in the corner masturbating quietly and i am right. that girl yeah and i just oh i like move to like not be around him and he's like get on the stick i'm like you do it alexis like you go like i'll just sit here and masturbate just because like you don't have to get <laughs> so pounded it's Thrilled. exhausting yeah, yeah and i'm like and uh, yeah. the director actually because i kind of had joked it was like the we filmed it and it was the day after one of our big like nomination parties for our award season because mm-hmm. our award season's just starting and uh, so I was hungover too. I'm like, I'm fucking tired. Everyone yeah. was out till yeah. you know one two in the morning. 
And I, I was like, I'm going to phone it in so fucking hard on this. I'm like, call me Jerry Lewis. He was the only one that laughed because he was older. Everyone else was 19. Yeah. And uh, then I did. And he like, we were on break. And he's like, how are you doing that? Every time I turn over, you're like in the most comfortable position. Just like not doing that. I was like, I know. I'm trying to get away with this. I was like, I'm really yeah. good at this job. I told you. Yeah. yeah because I see in porn <clears throat> as a woman, I can always tell when there's a turning point for the actress because i'm like dude mm -hmm. her vag is dry af i can see that it's just dry fucking her mm -hmm. like do you have to constantly i'm not constantly like i'm sure in the beginning i mean i don't know how much lube are you using um it kind of depends on the scene it depends on like how into the person you are too yeah. really affects it obviously right yeah. super affects it yeah like i could like with certain male performers i'm just like oh yeah all day like no lube this is great this is you so like fun him, yeah yeah and then other ones i'm just like is there look can anyone have coconut oil like yeah. Um, you can yeah. see you can read the faces too yeah. you know like you see in the 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 look back <laughs> and she's like, she's like oh. Oh. Oh, and then, then i get really excited I'm like oh she's not into this <laughs> oh boy i'm gonna finish right Stop now it. <laughs> looks like she's suffering <coughs> um so she's got a real phobia for butt stuff <laughs> now dr drew mm -hmm. who does a podcast here dr drew mm -hmm. after dark great guy he once told us that he does not recommend putting anything larger than what you can fit in the okay symbol in your butt he mm. goes it should not be bigger than that this is from a doctor mm. and i go i've seen things way bigger than that in butts. <laughs> yeah. um what is your response to like you know to that and to people in general being like oh not in the butt i mean everyone's different mm. i actually just was talking about this with somebody the other day where they're like i think if you have like a like a stretchier vagina where like you can like take more in your vagina your butthole is not as elastic yeah. and vice versa mm. yeah like i think you get one or the other maybe yeah mm. um my butthole is very elastic like mm. it just is um it's very stretchy and it's awesome but like you go slow i mean that's the biggest you thing take it's, like, it easy, you right? have to go slow it takes like it it's not something you just like fist your asshole tomorrow like that takes yeah. months and months of like you've done that use. yeah i can do that yeah you can, you fist, can your fist your own asshole yes i can yeah <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about that <laughs> How does one, how do you begin that? So I was. In just punch as fucking hard as you can, right? <laughs> <laughs> All five in. I was taking Bam! a bath a couple of years ago. I was like home alone and I'd like smoke some weed and I was like taking a bath and I was like, I wonder, I wonder. And so I was like, okay. And I just started and then he just like went in and I was like, oh, wait a minute. You wonder if you can put your whole fist mm -hmm, in there or yeah. just a finger? I love the way your mind my works. Whole, my whole <laughs> fist. <laughs> Because I'd already like been having anal sex, so I was already oh, like okay. knew I could. Yeah. I, I've been having anal sex for a long time. Okay, so were you into anal in your personal life? Uh -huh, oh, yeah. yeah, I actually did. I did anal before I was uh, before I lost my virginity. Really? Wow. Yeah, yeah. and oh, it's not shit. even a Catholic thing. It was just that like I was hooking up with this guy in high school. I was like fifteen, and I didn't like him very much. I like had some pent up stuff yeah. that I was working through and he, he kept wanting to, to fuck. And I was like, oh, I don't want this to be my story. Like, I don't like you very much. And I was like, you know, you just fuck my ass. That's fine. Wow. Like, what? I don't want this to be a story. Of How was he? Virginia. Was he around your age? No, he was like 21. Oh, I know. Yeah. Looking back on it, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. that wasn't great. But like, we, we did know each other from high school. You did know yeah. each other. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'd been doing that for a while. Okay, back to the wow. bathtub. <laughs> back to the bathtub. So you get, you're like, I wonder if you're I can smoking. put my <laughs> fist in my butt. Yeah, I just got yeah. really curious. So I got a, like, a bunch of lube because i had there was like lube and i was like you know and i worked in it and it just went in and it was very exciting <laughs> okay like this or closed like this yeah okay. you always go like this you always always go like, go this. like this what yeah, about your yeah. nails uh, doesn't hurt so i had very short nails at the time and these are like i wear press on nails in okay. case i do like a girl girl scene because you can't you have, can't finger blast with mm -mm. Ooh. no 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 because yeah. i hate seeing that in porno mm -hmm. when the girl's like eh, eh, and i'm like oh yeah it always makes me twitch okay mm -hmm. So you got this up your butt, mm -hmm. and now you're, you've got lube. Mm -hmm. Now I've um, listened to like fisting documentaries. Mm -hmm. What is fisting documentaries? Yeah, so there was this thing. <laughs> it's this one thing I heard on Howard where they went to a fisting oh. uh, festival or whatever, yeah, yeah. and you can like really put your hand really far. Mm -hmm. I mean, how yeah. far do you go in? Have you gone in? Have I you can had go someone to, go? like just like to my wrist, -ish, oh my gosh. like right there. What does it feel like? to have your hand that far up what are you feeling you feeling intestine are you feeling no you're still like poo -poo? in your no luckily not because you're cleaned out you like cleaned there's nothing out. in there yeah okay. 
You clean um, out first. Yeah. Thorough no, cleansing. Thorough cleansing, yeah. And, and I mean, also I've before my... an anal scene, I assume, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you like, I always, I mean, I don't starve myself. There are girls that won't eat for like 24 hours beforehand. Fuck. I don't know how you do that. Like your blood sugar. I know, I go crazy. Yeah. Um, I like stop eating at like seven o'clock the night before. And then I just like clean out in the morning and I usually have like oatmal or something. That's mm-hmm. kind of like you enema. S- mm-hmm. You might clean out you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so what are you, what are you touching? It's just like it soft. It just feels like swishy. warm and soft. Like okay. I've, I've fisted other people's buttholes too. Yeah. And it feels the same. It's just like warm and, and soft and, and kind of damp. How far do you go yeah. on someone else's butthole? I got up to like just about the same spot like yeah. there. And it was actually my best friend, which is really funny. <laughs> it was for work we got we got booked together and we kind of always had this thing we're like we're not going to work together because we're you're friends we're really good friends you say who or no is it yeah her name's london river she's fantastic okay. and hilarious okay. um and uh she, she's like my best friend she jokingly says she's my older sister she's a little older than me we've been friends since before we both got into porn have oh, you guys ever um before that scene mm-hmm. worked together no we had always said like we don't work together because it's too weird it's like we actually are kind of related and then like we got an offer to do something for kink.com together and we both like accepted it from our agent like in the group text and she calls me. She's like, yeah, I guess our our price for what's uncomfortable was like eight hundred dollars. It was not that high. <laughs> I was like, yep. <laughs> well, that's interesting. So let's talk turkey. Mm-hmm. So to get fisted mm-hmm. in a, for a kink site is eight hundred dollars for that one, because there's not really um, it's two girls. There's not really sex. It's like it's mostly toys. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's no like biological penis and what involved the rates go up based on significantly so like i've done like my anal rate like for me to do like an anal shoot is like 1400 okay um but then like i've done like uh like i did like a gangbang and that was like 2500 oh wow oh, that's mm-hmm. kind of good though yeah and, and is it le- i'm assuming if it's like a just blow jobs or something that's less right or yeah no? mm-hmm Wow. I don't do a lot of like just blowjob scenes because they don't it doesn't make a lot of financial sense to do them mm-hmm. like unless it's for like a big company where you're going to get the important exposure. in general most of where you make your money now is your own content yeah so mm-hmm. tell me about that because that's mm-hmm. something it's fascinating like from a, a business standpoint mm-hmm. you look at the that industry and it, it used to obviously in the 70s thrive in movie theaters mm-hmm. people would actually go to the movies then became the 80s VHS tapes and the 90s DVDs. Mm-hmm. Then it became streaming sites. And then everybody was uh, going to the tube sites, right? Mm-hmm. And then people like yourself, performers, actually realized, well, like, man, what's left for yeah. us? And started to take control and go like, oh, I'm going to do my own mm-hmm. content. So you sh- you shoot your own stuff, or everybody does yeah. now, and then put it on uh, a pay site so people can Yeah, so can I have mine money. on like a couple of pay sites, and then I also have it on Pornhub Premium. So because what Pornhub does is if you're like a verified performer, um, you can basically sign this thing where you get 5% ad revenue mm-hmm. on all of your videos. So that way, like, no one has to pay for them. Oh, that's and cool. And if you just go to my Pornhub page and like watch the videos I have posted I get five percent so they just like write me a check every month that's kind of like uh royalties a royalties thing mm-hmm. and now yeah. for the stuff that you put you put out on your own mm-hmm. is that like your own website uh I use OnlyFans okay that's um, a big thing it's right it's the big one it's just easy because it's a subscription base so you can like raise or lower the how price how often are you posting stuff there um so I have a content manager that I like send her all my stuff and she posts it for me because okay. I just don't have the time to sure, do it anymore sure. um but uh it's usually every day like new stuff every day like a little clip and then I do like bigger longer ones for other people and stuff what yeah. kind of clips are you doing I do the stupidest shit yeah like, I love honestly. it let's hear it I love it. I'm <laughs> yeah. so fascinated yes. so my biggest one is my stand-up actually so I just started filming myself going to open mics and then doing my shows because I was I was filming it anyways to You're do like kidding. Kate's and stuff. Yeah, and I had a, bu- a bunch of my fans really like my stand up, and so I was like, hey, I'm gonna start putting it on my OnlyFans. So if you subscribe, you can see my whole set. And then my content manager like messaged me a couple days later. She's like, do you have more tapes? Like, that's <laughs> I have like three people that want more stand up. I was like, yes, yeah, that's awesome. I was like a little insulted because like I am naked like right next to it. But if that's what like, you want to see, <laughs> what if you did naked stand up? I've I've thought about that because there's a naked uh, comedy show that someone's there like, is? what? Do. Yeah, there's do a it. full nude comedy show. I think it's down in Hollywood. What? Yeah, I'll send you the info, dude. If you I'll did, be there. if you did like a <laughs> residency <laughs> somewhere and <laughs> just did an all naked comedy show once, I think once a week. Yeah. on the same night i think you would sell out have sam That'd tripoli get involved oh, yeah. <laughs> i think he'd really love it okay does in stand up do you try to lean in ideas. or lean out of the fact that you do adult like if i watch you do i know right away or uh, yeah, yeah i mean i lean into it a yeah. little bit yeah. um because it's funny and people sure. are interested in it yeah. and it's as soon as you say porn like everyone sits up a little bit of course. In their seat. um but i try to do like when i first started everything was about porn 
and now I try to do other stuff too because I don't want to be just like pigeonholed as like it I can was only really make funny. Jokes about um, one thing. Katie Morgan that used to oh, host Katie those uh, HBO behind the porn like mm-hmm. industry things. She was naturally really funny. Mm-hmm. She was a great host on that. She worked mm-hmm. with Kevin Smith a lot. Okay, yeah, I yeah. remember her. I think I follow her on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Oh, this is a of course a question. You've been with different performers, mm-hmm. different guys. What is the best size penis? Okay, I, I'm not a size queen at all. Oh, thank God. Like I'm small. Like the ideal penis size to me is between like six and eight inches, and like normal girth. Because that's right, that's normal. fun for me. I don't want to feel like you're bottoming out my cervix. I hundred percent. What's agree. the biggest you've had? Um, twelve inches. Yeah, Jeez. like and about like and like girthy. Yeah, Christ. like it's black. No, actually, you know what's really interesting is um, <laughs> for whatever reason. So obviously that's that's true. Black male performers tend to have larger penises than white male performers. Yeah. Um, they don't tend to get as hard. I think because they're bigger, you can't oh. get as much blood flow. Oh, the bigger dicks don't get as yeah, hard. Yeah, and so, but for some reason, it's the ones you want to watch out for are like the white guys with the twelve inch dicks because those get all the way hard. Really? Yeah, and then it's like a fucking battering ram like oh, on your servings and it's terrible. You could tie all of our dicks mm-hmm. together and it wouldn't be like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it, yeah, that's that's mm-hmm. true when it hits your cervix, it's like mm-hmm. it doesn't feel great. Yeah. Now, mm-hmm. I want to ask you something. You've you've seen you've been to the some of the shows. You've mm-hmm. seen Josh Potter at these shows. Mm-hmm. Do you know about his mm. issue? Has he told you about it or have you heard through the grapevine? I don't. I've heard something. Okay. So <laughs> he's um, he's out there. He's just crushing it. The guy mm-hmm. should be in scenes. But he, well, he is a sex worker too. He is a forget. professional sex worker. That's true. But he um, has a, a delayed eject. He can't come uh, from sex with a, with a woman. He has to do it himself. Okay. To finish. Have you, first of all, have you ever encountered that? Pretty much every guy in porn is like that. What? Yeah. Like they have to finish? Almost always. Yeah, yeah. We usually set it up to pop, like, because it's, we call it the pop shot. Uh And so usually, like, we fuck, and then once they hit enough time on the camera, they're like, okay, set up to pop. And he'll go over and just be, like, jacking off, like, in the corner. Why can't they do it, them, like, with you? Or, I think part of it's kind of mental maybe because that's their job and they're trying so hard yeah. not to for so long that they kind of just train themselves to like not How, come oh yeah. from sex. Have you had um, so scenes? so fascinating. This is making more sense from them though. Yeah. Uh, have you had scenes just like where you start and the guy's like, oh shit, and then you're like, it's fucking ruined? Like the guy finishes way too fast? I've never had them finish too fast, but I've had them get really close and have to like stop everything uh-huh. and like calm down. And like I've seen the guy like literally like walk outside like into like the cold and be like, I need to like really? calm down or Reset. I'm going to come. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. wow, wow, yeah. wow. Um, hmm. So that's funny that you're seeing this that Josh goes through. Mm-hmm. So this has been like Josh. Yeah. Um, maybe you really are destined to be a performer. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm not, I'm starting to think it's not a bad thing anymore, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, because he's like he's lasting forever, yeah. and then when it's time to pop, mm-hmm. he's like, "I'll take over." But like, see, the thing is, in your industry, that's like what se- sounds like it's kind of the standard mm-hmm. and stuff. You know, when he's hooking up uh, yeah. in in the real world, you know, some of these girls are like, yeah. "Is it because?" I have brown hair and then <laughs> he's like I don't know bitch shut up and then he, oh he has to God. finish himself it's not necessarily how I handle I'm it sorry, I'm sorry sorry yeah. sorry I don't want to speak for you but I mean so are you actually embracing it now yeah I mean I figure why why fight it you know what I mean like yeah. uh, I don't know I just I'm out there if they're willing to try that's the best part in itself you know true mm-hmm. so true. who cares if it happens or not I certainly don't. So you I don't. So you're not bothered by it at all. No, I mean I'm. I'm not trying to have a kid. So <laughs> I think that's the only time that it would really matter. Now let's say this. Let's say you. It really would be cool to feel like what it's like to just do it and like involuntarily almost. But at yeah. the same time, like why? Like I said, I'm not trying to make a baby. So well, we can let's put it anywhere we want. You know. Let me ask you this though: If you were to, if if it were something where his his goal was to, what would do you have any advice? You feel I feel like you would have you know, a thought on how he could attempt to make it happen. Yeah, you the know. The natural way. Uh-huh. 
I'm not totally I'm not totally sure. Yeah. Um, just because it's never been something that like super bothers me if a guy yeah. does that. Yeah. Um, I would say maybe like with somebody you're really comfortable with, mm. usually that's kind of the ticket is like if it's somebody that you or like two, because I know guys that like won't be able to come from sex because they are nervous about getting a girl pregnant. Uh huh. And so maybe like if that fear is alleviated, I don't know. That would be my gut, but I'm not really sure. Yeah. No, no, no it's just fair are you, Is that it? Is there a fear of getting girls pregnant? You no, I, just I don't now. really uh, have a fear of that. I just don't. It's not something that I'm aiming to do either. Right, so. right. Mm-hmm. That's true. But I don't necessarily have a fear of it. I mean, it would suck. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> would For the baby, I mean, not for, for me. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, that's no child deserves that fate. <laughs> so... I don't how, want that to happen. How quickly would you abandon that child? Oh, my God. <laughs> I would, uh, I mean, as soon as I had the uh, the green light. Oh, you mean uh, as far as, like, if it was born? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I you're thought you were just you're using. You're like, I want to flush it. No, I, I get thought that. abandon was your polite term for. Yeah, no, I got you. Uh, but no, I, I don't know. I would try and fight it out, but it would be, I think I would really be a bad dad. <laughs> so. Do you think he would be? I don't. Think I don't think be. so either. I, I think, think you're you think you're a bad person inside, but you're not. Bad I don't know. On the inside, I would be like you're the sweet. second I couldn't do something that I wanted to do, I'd be like really resentful towards it. Yeah, yeah. but then you get over that. You get over it. You okay. Learn. You get over it. That's normal. People just don't talk about that. But I it, think it uh, is resent making. We're back to that intimacy thing, and that's like a whole other gamble. Yeah. You need intimacy. Mm. Yeah. I yeah. guess I got to date someone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I cannot wait till you have a girlfriend. No, it would be fun. I haven't had one in a while, so um, I guess I gotta look. For Can one you introduce him to somebody? I mean, I all of my friends are like whores in comics, so I don't know if uh, that's perfect. perfect. That's, okay. him. that's I feel what like he that's, uh, What I really would like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Then I have. And to name. he is not the type who's like, oh, you work in the industry. Hmm. He's no, not. He's yeah. so. He'll um, be like, look, accepting. dinner's ready. Like he doesn't mind at all. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah. yeah. I like a girl who performs in any capacity, <laughs> whether it be comedy or any any sort of art. Okay. So I'm right. into it. Just keep them in mind, all right? I will. I will. I, I mean, send them the friends. good ones, you know? Yeah. 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 The good yeah. ones. The yeah. sweet yeah. ones. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. None of the 19 year olds, I promise. No. Oh. I mean, we can look at some of them. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> oh, now, is dating, uh, people always imagine, mm-hmm. I mean, it's funny we're talking about it in capacity with, with Josh, but like, is dating, you know, difficult? I, I imagine like you meet a guy yeah. in the real world, you know, a mm-hmm. civilian and whatever yeah you guys flirt you guys have chemistry talk i mean like are you always like oh i'm about to drop a bomb on this dude like he's gonna shit his pants yeah i mean especially because i don't really like look like a porn star or like really dress like one and so like i don't that's not like the vibe that people get from me um i don't really date casually a lot like i've never been like a person that just like is on tinder and like goes on dates sure um but yeah i mean it is it's a little bit of a thing too because i think initially like usually what happens and i see this like with my friends too is like a guy will be really really excited when he like, finds oh out oh my god yeah. this is so hot i can't wait to tell all my friends yeah. like this is so awesome <laughs> and then like it's cool for like a little bit and then like they start to get like well but but i'm not enough but why do you, yeah, yeah. you do? i'm like okay well like i why would i ask you to quit your job after you've been dating me for like three weeks like yeah. if you were an accountant and i was like you know just I don't like it that you look at other girls' taxes. That yeah. yeah. Like, what? Like, yeah, this is how I so pay my stupid. rent. Like, sure. I don't... Well, yeah. plus it's work. I it's mean... work, yeah. It's totally different. And I've had that conversation with guys that I date, too, where I'm like, just please know, like, this is... It, it's a totally different mindset for me. Like, having sex with somebody off-camera that I really like is just like so anybody else. Different. Well, yeah. Yeah. Can so I say that you. that sounds exactly as what it's like to date someone as a comedian? Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. the data civilian where they're right. like, oh, yeah. oh, it's so cool. I get it. Oh, no, I get it. You have to work at night and blah, blah, blah. But <sighs> then they're like, why can't we just uh, go out to dinner on Saturday? Yeah. Because so, yeah. I have to go to fucking Houston. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that kind of thing. That's so. why it's always great to, to date a comedian, though. Right. Marry one. Have a family with one. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true because I would yeah. uh, when we were dating, like early on dating, I remember like all your buddies, mm-hmm. you know, they have their girlfriend and then. That's the big thing I would hear constantly about, like, oh, she's giving me so much shit for going mm-hmm. to do another spot this week. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's like, we're both doing spots. Yeah. So yeah, it's it ideal. Just, yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you ever dated anyone in porn? Um, No. Mm-mm. They're no. not. I've, like, casually been on a couple of dates with people in porn, but a lot of, 
Uh, a lot of the performers that I work with are older and married. Oh, oh um, right. Mm-hmm. So I also I'm because I like look young. I do a lot of like creepy grandpa porn. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so like I work with like I've worked yeah. with like Steve Holmes like five or six times. We're really good friends. We go bowling together. Um, but like we so, met that guy. Did we? Yoshi mm-hmm. brought him to that show in Irvine a couple of years ago. I'm trying to remember. He's Germany is the really blue oh, eyes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's so, great. He's yeah. lovely. lovely. Such a fun person. Yes, I remember. Mm-hmm. I liked him yeah. very much. We very go bowling sweet. together. He's yeah. really fun. We <laughs> both golf. Right. Yeah. Comedy and porn really do go hand in hand. They really do. I don't think psychologically, like what I mean, the lifestyle wise too, mm-hmm. there is something similar. We're both kind of looking for approval, maybe in different ways. I think I think we're yeah go ahead go ahead go ahead we're not that far off we're cousins no, I think there's an idea of like wanting to live outside of like society yes. and kind of just yeah. comment on it yes and sort of wanting to be like outside of the norm of what's expected of you to do because I've always 100%. looked at both of my jobs that way I feel like it's, it's totally that and that basically the reason that like people in comedy and like sex all mm-hmm. sex working always get along so well for the most part is they're just using different instruments to do kind of this. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like in Getting comedy, joy. you're saying things and yep. you're doing, you know what I mean? Pleasure. Like you're trying to say mm-hmm. things to get a reaction. And then if you're doing sex, you're using your body yeah. to get a reaction. It's like the same kind of thing. You yeah. Know? You're trying to get people off. It's pleasure. Yeah. 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 That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah. We deal in pleasure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's totally true. Um, it's so exciting. Wait, hold on. What? So, okay. So these are the older mm-hmm. men. What's the corniest thing you've ever had to say dialogue wise? Oh I'm what usually is. the one that says the corniest shit. Of course. Like, you're the hot it. girl. Yeah. The I just, yeah. okay. I did a, I did a blow bang like last <laughs> month. <laughs> it was so fun. Tell me everything about it. Was doing so it. Oh, it was so fun. Fun. It's my worst nightmare. Oh, okay. It was so fun. I just got to be like really <laughs> sloppy and like stupid and was just like spitting on people like all day. It was so fun. How many men in the blow bang? Um, um, five. Okay. Yeah, and five. Going, bah, bah, yeah, mm-hmm. bah, just like, and I just around. like grab another one, and yeah. I just be like, well, one too, because it's kind of my party. So I'm yeah. just like, I'd like shove one guy over, and just like, come here, like, and that's really fun. It's it's fun to not play. Like when I first started doing porn, um, because I looked really young, even though I'm like 25, I was doing a bunch of like teen, like amateur stuff, and I would always kind of joke, and I was like, it's basically my job to play like a statutory rape victim. Yeah, like yeah. that's kind of the thing. And so since I've like gotten more into it, and I don't do as many of those anymore, and I get to be a little more in charge, yes. and like say that's way more fun and like way more empowering. Um, but we're getting to the end of it, and he's like, oh yeah, he's like, you want to come here? Come. I was like, glaze me like a fucking donut. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I really hope that they kept that in. I like so badly hope they kept that in. <laughs> <laughs> now, did, were there alternate lines for that moment? It's or? all improv. Like you oh. can say whatever you want. And yeah. you're not somebody, obviously, you don't have an aversion to jizz, right? So no, not, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't have an aversion. Yeah. yeah. Now, does every man taste different? Yes. And smell different? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And there's, I mean, there's a difference between good and bad. Like some... There's some guys where it's just you can tell that they don't drink enough water or like eat healthy. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Diet's a big part of it. Yeah. yeah. And then some guys you're like, huh, fill up a cup. This yeah. Is some guys you're like, oh, this is great. Like this yeah. smells clean. It's nice. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That would make sense. And mm-hmm. it lines up with like a healthier guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yep. Wow. Mm-hmm. Who's God. got the best tasting jizz so far? Uh, Manuel Ferreira. Wow. Yeah. She had that on deck. Mm-hmm. Do yeah. we want to see who here has the best taste? <laughs> 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 I meant for like another day. <laughs> Actually, here let's take a guess. Um, uh, let's see of the of the guys here, who ha- who has you think the worst tasting jizz? Oh, oh. I mean, look. I read, here's what I know about Chris is that he cooks for himself on the weekends. So that's okay. a good thing. There's yeah. a lot of self care in Chris's world. He mm-hmm. always looks clean. His appearance is neat. I think he has a good lifestyle. He takes care of himself. Really yeah. long pubes, though. Like. Long pubes, but that's a hippie thing. He's kind of a hippie. <laughs> okay. But he's clean, and he. I think he would have the best tasting. Now, the worst tasting is between the dove and the cockroach. I think so, too. I <sighs> think I think Annie's... Well, th- don't forget, though. Annie but doesn't Annie's shit got, for a week. And he's got he's a bad fun. diet. Yeah, and he has a bad diet. Yeah, he's got a real I am. Con- I, I eat tons of pineapple when we're on the road oh, in so every green room. <laughs> But he smokes. Oh, I do. I smoke. smoke. Yeah, Both of them do. Nadav smokes. Yeah. I don't eat a lot of red meat. That's a big one, right? <laughs> He's really making a case for his just. <laughs> 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 what would it cost? 
If I wanted to shoot a scene. Oh, no. What? We could put it on the site. Tom, we can't what? get into this business. What, what's wrong with that? Studio Jeans Dude, presents. can you imagine as a podcast That'd promo? That'd be very funny. I'd be like, on the next episode. <laughs> Well, everyone podcast? would have to go get tested, which is I have to do yes. every two weeks. And okay. that's like okay. $165. Is it really? Yeah. So every two weeks, it's $165. And that comes out of your pocket. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. Everything business. comes out of our pocket. So like mm. uh, transportation, all of our clothes, mm. um, makeup Jesus. is like 50-50. Like sometimes there's makeup, but a lot of times you do Let your Let me own. ask you this. Long Jeez. term, mm-hmm. do you like there's, you know, since like if you're following porn when mm-hmm. you're a teenager you realize some people you're like man this person's been in this thing mm-hmm. like 35 fucking years yeah do you feel like you know you're part of this industry it'll probably be your long-term career or no, no. just like it's just it'll be part of your life and then off to something else i got into porn like for like the reasons with like all the bdsm stuff but a big part of why i got into that too is because i had this idea of like um i was a journalism major in Mm -hmm. college and art history and so like i'm a writer i write and so i had this idea of like i want to write a book and i knew i was interested in this and i was like and i'm also like i'm a pretty white girl from colorado i have no edge Mm -hmm. on me at all like there's nothing that's innately very interesting about me as a person if i'm trying to like sell a book and so uh, I got this idea where I was like, you know, I'll go do this for a couple of years and see what I get. And I like I joked like when my parents found out, they're like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm on an extended research sabbatical. I love it. Like, wow. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out. And so I'm actually working on the book now. Um, it's cool. finally starting to come to fruition. But like, yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to like kind of get that and like moving into writing. But this, the whole goal with it was to kind of try to see what this industry was about. And it's fun. That's that's very that's interesting. Awesome. Yeah. Everybody's always you know their first thing if you Mm -hmm. if you're playing like would you rather type hypothetical Mm -hmm. games right somebody says porn they're like one of the first things they're like what if my family finds out right Mm -hmm. like that's that thing where you're like i couldn't do that yeah so sounds like your family knows yes and what's their reaction so they found out uh, about a year ago um so i'd already been in the industry for like a year when they found out um which was not great that was like me being kind of a pussy and like not saying anything because i knew they were going to be upset about it um they were upset about it um and it took about it took about like i didn't talk to them for like several months Mm because i was just like look this is what i'm doing and i you know i'm an adult i'm not asking you for money like i can't you know you don't get to like treat me this way and uh, we finally like started talking the last six months. We've done a ton of work on our relationship. I went home for the first time in October and saw them and we went to therapy for three hours. Wow. <laughs> so that sounds, I bet that was awesome. It was awesome. Yeah. Um, honestly, like we worked through so much stuff. Like my relationship with them has not been this good in like 15 years. Wow. wow. Yeah. So it's really good. Um, they kind of understand what I'm doing with everything now. They still don't love it. They don't really want to talk about it. Um, they're very I kind of joke too that like I'm the only person who's ever like told their parents they wanted to be a stand-up comic and they're like oh thank god hundred <laughs> percent <Right. laughs> <That's laughs> like yeah. oh she has her clothes on uh. like this is great um, so yeah so you know it's it's getting better but I mean I know some people whose parents are just very very chill about it and don't care at all and then there's some people that you know were just disowned and I think that's terrible but that's terrible yeah, yeah. Mm. back to this testing mm-hmm. so every two weeks yeah. you do just HIV or do you do everything, everything. full it's panel. A full panel. Wow. Mm-hmm. that's the thing that we, i've that's always great. heard that people say like is the, the safest thing is to have sex in your industry yeah mm-hmm. because you're just with people who are all getting tested yeah so i mean the yeah the theory the idea is that like everyone that's in the industry you know has the test and is only working with people that also have a test mm-hmm. um there's some people that i'm like more inclined to believe than others like it's definitely the obviously the testing like lowers the rate of like any kind of like STI infection like dramatically that everyone's constantly going getting. Um, but right now, I mean, that's kind of the problem with having your own content and stuff too. Is that there's a lot of people that like just are just up, fucking huh? their boyfriend who is not a performer. Yeah. And like, guess what? Dollars to donuts. If you're like 19 and you think you're in an amazing relationship with a guy that's 29, like he's definitely cheating on you. Yeah. Like. Yeah, so that's kind of the, I mean, that's a big issue in our industry right now, too, is like, and there's, that's another reason why some people are on my no list, because I see them online, I'm like, How does it work, by the way, Mm -hmm. um, when you show up to shoot, (laughs) Mm -hmm. do people, like, is it, does somebody go, like, do you have your test on you? Mm -hmm. So that's, like, a thing that happens right away. So I, we get an email to us, um, so I have it, I can, like, pull it up on my phone. Um, and there's a little QR code that you can scan on with your phone to make sure that it's valid and I didn't like forge it. Wow. Um, we also have a, a uh, it's from the Free Speech Coalition runs there and it's called the Pass Network. And mm. it's um, basically, it's a private network. You have to be a performer to get into it, but you can go online and type in someone's legal name and it'll pull up their, all of their test results forever. 
Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. And yeah. did you pick a stage name to perform on? Kate Kennedy is my stage yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. how did you it's pick great it? Name. It's a great name. Um, thank you. Uh, Kate was, well, when I first started working in the office behind the scenes, I had to pick a name then because I was emailing porn people and, and oh, doing right. stuff and they were like, you have to pick. So Kate's my middle name. Um, and then Kennedy was just, I'm obviously super fucking Irish. And I was yeah. like, it works mm -hmm. nice. It and works. It's no, a good yeah. ring to it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Good, good. So. Wow. Josh, we got to get you a stage name. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Josh Potter is such a good stage name already. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, yeah. yeah See, it's, dude, it works really well. You're fucking primed for this. I know. For what? What's that? For scenes. Scene I work. think. I, I mean, I'm already dipping my toe. If you re if you remember with my cameos. That's right. Do you know about his cameo? Exposure? No, I did not. Oh my god! So the people at Cameo reach out to him. <laughs> uh -huh. You know about the cameo yeah, yeah, site, yeah. right? Celebrities and people mm -hmm. do like, um, hey, uh, whatever, it's like birthday greetings mm -hmm. or send a message and. You set your price, mm -hmm. and uh, then the person decides whether they... He started doing it, and started doing shoulder hair, <laughs> and uh, shirtless, and, and foot videos. Mm -hmm. Nice. And he was making bank. Yeah, that's where the money is, the foot videos. Yeah. Yeah. It was more the shoulder hair, I found, is a niche that not really? many people bring to the table. It's odd. I didn't know that there was such a desire <laughs> for it, and here we are. And what were you charging when you went? Uh, uh, $100 per cameo. Per cameo, and you were getting dozens of requests. I had about 85 or something. Wow. Whoa, <laughs> that's awesome. It was insanity, and so, uh, I mean, when my parents found out that I was taking <laughs> my clothes off, they were like, thank God, because <laughs> comedy was getting me nowhere for yeah. a decade. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, comedy never made me that much money, so they were excited. My parents. You guys are a perfect. You guys are a perfect match. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you guys are great. Um, are you still doing cameos, by the way? Uh, they are available. Uh, the well has dried a bit, but uh, they are still. It's still up there. They haven't kicked me off yet. So. And is your rate still a hundred? It's down to fifty <laughs> for the holidays. <laughs> we have a holiday sale <laughs> going right now. Black Friday sale. <laughs> <laughs> and people can still request the shoulder hair. Yeah, whatever they'd like. Yeah. God, uh, it was sure. so vile. Yeah, you were putting it really moisturizer is. on your feet. I was fucking disgusted. Your feet are you. not good looking. They're not, they're not terrible. Come they're on. not terrible. No. They're still fucking Hey, there's, uh, you know, there's something for everyone, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't have the prettiest feet either, and I do foot stuff. And people pay for. I think it's really weird. I think I'd probably rather see yours than Josh's. Just yeah. I'll just go ahead and say. Yeah, that. I mean, if if I was ranking, I think mine might be a little yeah. bit nice, but they're not great. Like, what is not, uh, What is the weirdest foot request you've ever gotten? We could compare notes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I I didn't get this, but a friend of mine did. Um, where this guy asked her to buy a pair of white tennis shoes, like white kids, and put mustard in one and ketchup in the other, and then put her feet in and like squish them around like that one at fun. a time. I know. Doesn't that sound really fun? I, I would do that. It How was like a thousand dollars. I yeah. was like, oh, I would a have thousand? That's not bad. Yeah, it's a good deal. One. Well, you have to include the price of the kids and the, the condoms. The condiments. Yes, yeah. of course. And the cleanup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cleanup. You have to I take know. all that into consideration when you What's make What's the weirdest price. one you got? Mine? I had somebody ask me to do a French press with my feet <laughs> instead of the press. <laughs> and I don't even know how to do a French press with the machine, so I had to decline that one. Oh, you turned it down. I said no. That was the only one I said no to. That was the only one. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> was it. French press. <laughs> so yeah. stupid. Ball kicking videos mm. where the man is in a lot of pain. Yes. I feel as though I would be good at doing them. <laughs> What kind She's of qualifications do I need? Um, She's always said this. It's, you know, it's one of those things where you just have to practice yeah. a little bit um, to get the right amount of, because uh, you, you don't want to hit them that hard, right? Because you don't want to really? cause torsion. Well, no. I've, I've, got, I've gone on a deep dive on ball <laughs> kicking videos before, <laughs> and I've noticed mm -hmm. that uh, there's a, a real distinction between the ones where you can see that she's purposely i mean it's you mm -hmm. know you gotta be paying attention <laughs> kicking him kind of behind the balls yep so she's kind of kicking, kicking him in the, the taint, taint and and it's the illusion mm -hmm. and then there's that one that that famous one that we that really we connected on yeah. um <laughs> where i think it was in uruguay where uh that woman was fucking pulling punching kicking Damn. and he's deliberate and he's naked you can see and they they swell up and he's like bleeding and she was like suffer suffer and she was like really really laying into him and he was like he was in so much pain and that one you could tell that she was she had yeah. zero concern for his well-being <laughs> it makes sense that was in uruguay because yeah. we are not allowed to do that here you're not allowed to do no. that no that's there's a lot of stuff that you're not allowed so to like film. you have to you have to pretend 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a lot that you have to, and that's you, something you run into with BDSM all the time is like you can only show, and different sites are different with their credit card processors. So what if what the guy's allow. like, no, 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 I want you to kick me in the. Like, the credit card company doesn't care. Oh, because it's somebody's pay. Mm -hmm. I got you. So, so like the, your payment processor that. will shut you down if you, and they have like lists of rules and some of them are like super arcane and bizarre. Like there's one clip site that will only let you have 30 seconds of bondage at a time. Yeah. Like how can you show as many bondage for 30 seconds? And then cut away. To it takes longer to like take them out of it than 30 seconds. Yeah. Um, so you have to like, you know, it's the same with like piss, blood, piss, needles. What's the piss rule? Um, there's certain ones. I mean, these sites are different, but like how much you like, if you can drink it or if you can pee on people or people peeing on each other, like that's a whole, I had to do mm. also do a deep dive on this when I was like working in BDSM because I had to find out what we could and couldn't post places. Um, so Why do you, how do you feel about pee? You know, it's not my thing personally. Yeah. I've done it. It's fine. Again, it's one of those things where if you're really hydrated, it's not that bad. It's kind of like squirting. Like squirting is just peeing on purpose when you're really hydrated. Now, can I? Thank you. What? Hold on. Yeah, you realize what she's saying? This is groundbreaking. All it is. That this is a YMH exclusive. Lisa Traeger <laughs> uh, was in here. We were talking about whether or not squirt is piss. Yeah. This is. is a YMH exclusive. YMH exclusive. YMH exclusive. <laughs> we have the authority. You're yeah. in the business. You're telling there's me. There's always a debate about people saying yeah. it's not this. It's no, this. there's no debate. It's pee. That's Thank all you. it is. It's just pee. If you go to a squirting site, what they have is they have a table, like the craft services table, and they have a ton of Pedialyte on it. And those girls go and they drink like two or three of those giant Pedialyte things. They just chug them. And so the pee comes out clear and it smells like Pedialyte. It smells really good, actually. Wow. It's nothing. It doesn't smell anything like pee. It's basically just water. But yeah, that's and what the it is. And the girl always goes, oh, fuck, mm -hmm. you hear it? Fucking. Yeah. <laughs> and then. But then right? she's super hydrated with vitamins and minerals, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yep. Wow. Mm -hmm. She's squirting. Oh, that's squirting? No. <laughs> no, I think she that's... broke her leg. Oh, God. <laughs> what about mailing your panties to people? Uh, for a while, some. Josh was a, a panty aggregator. What's the statute on mailing? Uh, I mail panties. Them. Yeah, I mail them. Um, I wrap them in, I mean, I wrap them in plastic. I like, I have a whole thing. Like I wrap them in like nice tissue paper with like a little bow. Oh. Do you in, take like, the plastic. request if the guy's like, go on a jog? Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, I like wear them. Because they and almost you always stay want to wear them. to what they request. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you can kind of <laughs> tell if someone's warm. I just wear them that day. I met a couple <laughs> that does uh, content. Mm -hmm. And uh, they do a lot, you know, just sex stuff online. Mm -hmm. And she was like, yeah, I got a, a request for poop in, in Tupperware, <laughs> but he wanted me to follow a specific diet for three days. Oh, jeez. And um, there she was like, mm. and then he was like, I'll give me like, I don't know if it was like 3,500. She's like, all right. So, and I was like, you did? She goes, yeah. She goes, I stayed exactly what he wanted me to eat. Yeah. And then just dumped in a box and sent it to him. <laughs> You ever had that one? I've never had that one. No. I no. do turn people down pretty frequently for you do? like requests. Yeah. I mean, I get people that will request stuff where like, like I'm not cool with a lot of like the race play stuff. It's just race not my play. stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, that I'm not going to say that. Yeah. That's what I'm Or other like say this word. That's we that. watched some of mm -hmm. that. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I do remember. Yep. Yeah. I get oh, ass nigga. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. I get that. And I do think that like fetishizing stuff like that should be kind of understood a little bit outside of like societal context. Because a lot of times when we fetishize things, it's our way of dealing with them mm -hmm. like mentally. Sure. Um, and that's why a lot of fetishes are a little bit out there. But for me, like that's always been my line. Like because I, I work with anyone of any color. You know, I'm not like I don't not work with that people a aspect for extra money because there are people are that do. What is going on with that? Where it's like the place that really you can really highlight. Um, the, the, the separatism between races is mm -hmm. in the adult industry where yeah. they're like, Ugh, do you work with black guys or, you know what I mean? Like this whole, yeah. and that people charge more for yeah, it. Yeah. Which is like gross. I'm it like, feels gross. It's really gross. I'm like, don't do that. Like just they're a performer and like, yeah, that's always been my line is like, I'm happy to work with anyone of any color. I'm not, I don't do anything that fetishizes race. I'm not a person of color. I don't belong in that dialogue. Yeah. Like that's just. I should not be doing that. Um, actually, we just the orgy I just did because it was uh, interracial, so the guys were black, and the director was like, "Oh, they're the basketball team," and I was like, "That's racist. Can they be the lacrosse team? Can we say they're the lacrosse?" <laughs> we said they're the lacrosse team. Uh, That's hilarious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would I'm actually get my attention the most if yeah. I watched. I'd be like, this is a lacrosse team. Yep. <laughs> 
And then I kept saying a bunch of like lacrosse stuff through the, like, throughout Hilarious. the whole movie. So they like couldn't cut it out. And he was like, like I could see him because he's a friend of mine. He's like, look at me. He's like, Kate. I was like, I know. Like, he's like, no one mm-hmm. even fucking knows what was going on with lacrosse. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. Josh. Yeah. What would it take to get you to do a scene? I mean, just the money, like everyone else, I suppose. <laughs> what do you think? What are you gonna, is it going to be a YMH production? Tim. Yeah. You, you're going to direct it? Yes. <laughs> oh, man, that would be an honor. I would love to do that. <laughs> to make Josh come? No, I'm just no, gonna, just, just a scene. Just shoot a scene. <laughs> well, what's the scene? Uh, Josh is like, he's here at the studio, and all the power goes out, and he's like, I'm scared. It's dark. <laughs> 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 well, yeah. And then uh, he uses his phone to call Gosh. an electrician, you know, and then she comes in, and she's just wearing an electrician's belt. That's it. And she's like, oh, the power thing's over here. All the lights come on. And then you're like, oh, my God. And then you guys do it. I love it. I love your direction always. Mm -hmm. Christina, has Tom told you about what I'm going to do when I'm blind? No. For the porn? Um, So, like, I don't think there's a lot of blind porn stars. No. So then I could very well just do a thing where it's like I'm a little blind bitch or whatever. <laughs> and A blind sissy. And I'm like, I miss what tits look like. And they're like, we're ah. going to give you some tits. And then they bring in, but it's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, suck on those tits. I'm like, this isn't what I remember it to be like, but it's a dick. <laughs> it's basically like humiliation yeah. stuff, you know? But I'm blind. But so. he's totally That's blind. That's so funny. Yeah. And everyone takes advantage of yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it's always dicks. And he's yeah. like, so like, every time they're yeah. like, uh, suck this girl's toes. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, it doesn't taste like why a does, toe. Why did liquid come out <laughs> of the toes? And he always, he just. He I all, like that. Yeah. Or he's like, have sex with this girl. And he's like, it's a butthole. It's a guy's butthole. Yeah, it's but nice. he never knows. No, he I never know. Knows. I just, I always trust the people very wholeheartedly. He's right. like, she's so strong. He, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And I like this idea. This yeah. is a good lane. Cool. And they're like, there's, That's here's, my future. here's two hot chicks. Just reach up and then you just like, <laughs> <laughs> feel like it. And they hit you in the face with their dicks yeah. and stuff. Why yeah. do they have to be mean? You know, I would, by the way, I would self-fund that site if you <laughs> if that happened. I know, I'm excited. Like every month, it. they'd be like, "There's no subscribers." I'm like, "Here's one for ten grand. Go ahead, keep doing this." <laughs> Fifteen years from now, probably. So. <laughs> no, I, I think you could sell this. I I, I think know. you'd have subscribers for this. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. people yeah. would watch this. The humiliation. Mm-hmm. Of yeah, it. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't wait to be blind. What is there any like genre within like the, within it the mm-hmm. business that you're like? Mm, Turned up. Besides, you know, you don't want to do scat, the race play. Poopy. Yeah, I don't do the scat Ooh. stuff. That's. I mean, that's not something that gets How filmed in mainstream, anyway. It, it doesn't, right? No, you can't. It's, it's a credit card process, so I think you can't it sell is. it. It is. That's mm-hmm. so fascinating. Yeah. I had no idea. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't do. Uh, let's see. I don't do a lot of the like um, anymore because I'll do like the BDSM stuff where it's like more kind of like degrading or like humiliating. I don't do a lot of just generally like degrading sex if that makes sense like yes. i don't do a lot of the really nasty and i don't like it when people talk to me that way either especially oh. if they assume like uh, when a male talent will be like yeah like bitch come stuck on this dick i'm like you're gonna get way further with me being nice to me right like a, a nice a please and a thank you will get you so far and i'm amazing at this so you definitely want me to do it yeah. but like you need to be nice to me yeah um because that'll just yeah so i don't do a lot of the really crazy gross i don't do the vomit Vomit's thank you yeah. so disgusting oh it's gross like oof. Yeah, I don't like it. it's not my thing. I mean, like, not to <laughs> not stop it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Get your finger away from that. I'm okay, okay, take okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. All right. I don't like puking. She really doesn't. No, like I don't like the sound of it either. And like, not to knock anyone's fetish because everyone's no, no, no. different. But we're like, not well, that fetish. Yeah. Now that you're not into it, I won't do it. I promise. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't do that. And then I don't do any, uh, I don't do like the femdom stuff either. I'm like, watching you. I'm changing pages. No, you're not. Yes, I am. What's the, the what? Yeah, I don't do like the female like dominatrix stuff. It's I'm not a dominant. I don't have a bone in my body like that. I it's just you. not oh, natural you're to me. Just submissive. Then. I'm I'm kind of a switch. I can be a little bit toppy with other girls, but like when guys will, especially like if they call to do, because I'll do like phone sex and stuff too, like just at my house. And uh, when they're they're like, oh, like I want you to like humiliate me and do this stuff. I'm like, I can't. Yeah. I'm like, I don't even know what to say. Like I do this as a living, and I've seen this kind of porn, and I still like I feel super cheesy. Yeah, it feels yeah. cheesy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. What's what? your biggest request in phone sex? No, <sighs> I'm not listening. That's not a fucking puke sound. What it's is your that? favorite one? <sighs> oh, I love him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a German a nipple, guy with guys. A thick nipples. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> I want you to milk me dry. <laughs> Suck on. Where's I want all the cum? I want. Oh, I don't know where that one is. I don't know. I he have. loves his cum. He-
I have Baron Loftus. Baron Loftus has come. I don't remember. Oh, get off! <laughs> there you go. That guy. Okay, what's your biggest phone sex request? You know what? I get a lot of guys that just like want to talk to me. Aww. Like it's not even phone sex. I have a lot of guys that are uh, either divorced or Aww. widowed. Or like are like have had a hard day at work and they just want to talk and like I had one guy that was like, do you want to? Because he like lived in Florida and he was like, do you want to go see a movie? And I'll go see a movie the same day and then I'll call you afterwards and it'll be like we went to a movie together. Oh, and would you charge it. him by the minute? Well, so I charge by the minute because it's like it's a service thing. So they have like yeah. a encrypted phone oh number that they call me at. Yeah. Um, but I wouldn't charge him to like go to the to movie. The movie, I'm I saying it's like, a ninety minute. Well, I wanted to see the movie anyways, and I was so like, you went and saw it. If it was, I was going to, and then I ended up getting really busy that day. Mm. I like had a shoot, so I think we're gonna do it like later. But I was That's like, sweet. if you send me money Aww. for the ticket, like I'll go watch the movie and then That's talk sweet. to you about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they want love. They want yeah, connection. They just want connection. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Connections with people, mm-hmm. Josh. What movie was it? <laughs> Uh, it was the lighthouse, oh, and it was my things. idea because I was like, I asked. What's the lighthouse? Well, it's the one where Robert Pattinson fucks the mermaid. What? I've it's uh, it. it's, it's black so, and white. So you picked the movie. He didn't pick the movie. Yeah, well, I had said I, I wanted to watch the movie, and then he had this idea of like, I want to go to a movie with you, but not with you. Cause I remember when the chick fucked mm-hmm. the guy that was a fish. Uh, yeah, that was a the good shape one. of water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's also kind of artsy. It's black and white. Robert Pattinson uh, lives in a lighthouse and, and he fucks, fucks a, mermaid? a mermaid. Yeah, and one of my cool. friends went and saw it. And the first thing I was like, "So he fucks the mermaid, right?" Like, you <laughs> <laughs> this is depending on whether or not I'm going to go see it. And he's like, sure. "Oh yeah, he definitely fucks the mermaid." I was like, "All right, cool. Nice. I'll go see that." Nice. nice. Mm-hmm. Now, um, you're doing. Uh, how often are you doing spots now? Uh, so I mean, I try to do a mic every night. Um, wow. Yeah. Girl. Good mm-hmm. for you. Yeah, it's. I took a couple. I took the last two weeks off because I, like I said, I like ran into some writer's block, and I was like, I started to feel like I was going every night, and I was just doing exactly the same thing, and I yeah. started to get really frustrated with it. That's and good that you have that instinct. Yeah, yeah. Good, uh, that's a good instinct to oh when, you, when you get when you feel uh, that it's that it's wasteful to just do the same thing all the time. That's a good thing. Mm-hmm. Cause I was like, I don't, I'm not thinking of anything new and like, yeah. it's just, there's only so many. And also it's a bunch of the same people at these mics. Like they've yeah. got to be getting tired of this shit too. Um, so I kind of took a few weeks off and then all of a sudden the last couple of days I've been having like good ideas again. And I'm like, okay, cool. So yeah. Um, That's and good. I'm about to go out of town, so I'm like not going to get to go to Mike's this week, which kind of sucks. And you do them all over LA? Yeah, I mostly do like around Hollywood. I live like Hollywood, like Los Feliz area, so I yeah. usually go try to go around there. Great. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Man. Yeah, it's fun. So it's nice. It's I really like. I was really nervous to start doing open mics because I think like when you don't know anybody and then you just yeah. go and like and like too like I started doing comedy at the comedy store, so like I started doing it on a show, yeah. which was totally unwarranted. Like I did not deserve it at all. It was really nice that somebody let me do it, but I I did. That was your first spot mm-hmm. at the Belly Ever. Room. Uh huh. It yeah. was a book show that somebody mm-hmm. put on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. And it was. <laughs> Oh, sorry. No, you should come do my flappers. Uh, well, you've done it already. Yes, I would love to come back and do but it But come in. Yeah. I know you're out of town this mm-hmm. week. We're dark this week. Anyways, yeah. Potter, get, will you tell her the dates? Because Potter's on there too every week at flappers. I have Josh. I have um, Chase O'Donnell and Sarah Weinshank is going to be hosting. Oh, yeah, that'd And be now awesome. Kate Kennedy's going to come do some spots. Yes, oh, that'd be fantastic. So come see Kate do stand-up oh, on my show. Come All right. Yeah. It'll be fun. Yeah, that'd be great. I really liked that. It was a fun room. I liked yes, it Yes, yeah. listen, our listeners are so awesome and open, and mm-hmm. I think, especially after hearing you now and knowing you, but mm-hmm. they probably would love to see you do stand-up. That would be awesome. I would yeah. love that. That's very cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, Kate, thank you for coming. Thank you very thank much for having you. me. Appreciate it. And Josh, hope you can come soon. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Bye. Hey, bro, I'm on record for a moment. What is this place, 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 place? This is America, you dumb son of a bitch, 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 bitch. You dumb son of a bitch, okay? What's up there, Chomo? Chomo, listen here. You didn't fall proto, 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 buddy, you're done. You know who you're talking to? You're tired, double A's. I take cops badges all the time. Buddy, you're done. What's up there, Chomo? Chomo, listen here. You didn't fall proto, 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 buddy, you're done. You know who you're talking to? You're tired, double A's. I take cops badges all the time. Buddy, you're done. I'm a private person, and I can tell you no. You dumb son of a bitch. Let's go. How do you get a job here, you fuck face? Stop by talking like that. What's your name anyways? You just lost your life. Ta-ta there, retard. What's that? Ta-ta there, retard. Ta-ta there, retard. You don't have no authority over me, bitch. Ta-ta there, retard. You know what? You're fired. Ta-ta there, retard.
Hi, Mommy. Thanks, Jeans. Thank you for watching this episode of your mom's house. And if you had a great time, watch more videos here, here, here. And don't forget to subscribe here, here, here so that you will know when a your mom's house video comes out immediately. Thanks, Jeans. <laughs>